if we could have everyone clear of the track, please. Competition is about ready to start, so the back straight must now be cleared. No one warming up on the back straight. So a little bit of a oops there. We heard the gun, but it wasn't quite loud enough. So we'll start that one again. So bring the competitors in the men's L800. As I said, 38 races ahead. Now bear in mind, this is sponsored by On. So Honor here, once again, you can see the, uh, the range of shoes over on the far side of the track. So please support our, support, uh, our sponsors here on. Go and visit them, have a chat to them about the range. Once again, they're providing the Encouragement Award is a pair of the On Clouds. We'll be going to the winners of our Encouragement Award here again. They're valued at $260 a pair. So a big thank you to On for supporting Milers Club. So underway now in the men's L800 metres. So it's me and Davenport, Woodhouse, Barrett, Gallagher, Skirka, Miller and Mates. So already the young man Jude Barrett from Essendon. To the inside of him it is Oscar Woodhouse from the Wellington Athletic Club. So once again great to see the Wellington colours here at Box Hill. Great supporters coming up from Gippsland to support the Miles Clubs on a regular basis. Davenport sitting there in that fifth position. Gallagher now starting to make a move to get onto the back of of sorry Davenport and they're really starting to settle down nicely at the moment this is a good pace out front it's either Miller let's see if it's Miller or Meehan off to the side there so we'll get a good idea as they come around the first time So Jude Barrett's to the inside, taking the shortest possible line here in this 800 metres. So the best seed time sitting around that 2.30 mark, and that's about a 75 second lap, and they're going to be well and truly under that. Barrett goes through, there's Miller in next position, Woodhouse going through nicely, Means just off the back of Davenport, gap then to Gallagher, Skirka looking good as he comes through on about the 120 mark. Austin Mates, regular at Miles Club from the Richmond Club. He's coming through right on the 130. So around that three minute mark for Austin, which is pretty stock standard for him here. Davenport's looking good as he moves into third position. Barrett's still leading ahead of Woodhouse. Gap then to Miller. Meehan now starting to make his move down the back straight. Skirka starting to get ahead of steam too and setting sights on Gallagher just in front of him. That Doncaster uniform is looming. So Davenport now leads. As I said, broke a para record here. Uh, in the 800, I think, or the 15 at the first or second of our Miles Clubs meets. But now it's Woodhouse going to the outside in the Wellington Colours. So Oscar Woodhouse, he's got a best or seed time of 2.30. As I said, they came through nicely under that. And I think with Woodhouse's finish here, we're going to see them well under that 2.30 mark. So let's get behind their competitors here in the L800 metres. Been a great race. We'll try and get Davenport through to another record here. But it will be Woodhouse to take the win. So great running from Oscar Woodhouse, well into, will be under the 2.30, sub 2.30 or right on there for Barrett and also Davenport. Meehan comes through in next position, Gallagher, then Skirka. Miller will be next, he's got a seed time of three minutes, he's going to be well and truly under that. So good win there from young Oscar Woodhouse from the Wellington Club. Well and truly under the 2.30 seed time. Nice race there and good sportsmanship between Gallagher and Skirka. Nice race and conditions absolutely ideal here. As we see Austin Mates coming through. It's just going to be the wrong side of three. 
minutes. So about 3.14 unofficial there. Austin Mates rounds out the field there in the men's L800 metres. So let's introduce our field, the men's K800 metres, station one from Yarra Rangers, Mitchell Poynton in three from Old Scotch, Joshua Lindemann. In station four from Yarra Rangers, Pete Nikovsky. In five from Melbourne Uni, it's Dustin Dianaki. In six, we have Anjana Jayalath. In seven from Doncaster, Mark Purser. In eight from Mornington Peninsula, it is William Hughes. Scott Lawrence from Old Scotch lines up in station nine. Craig Hewitson from Yarra Rangers in ten. And Sullivan Jennings rounds out the field in station 11. So we're looking at a race here in about the 220 through to 229. That's our mix. So I expect them to come through about that 66, 67 for the first lap. So they're quite willing early. And it's the Melbourne Uni runner there, Bianaki. The outside of him is Jay Laff. So Binaki's coming in with that 2.20 seed time, similar to Jay Laff. A little gap then to Joshua Lindemann. He's a 2.20 runner, one runner from Scotch. Then Nikovsky in next position. Our Rangers runner then Poynton in next. From Mornington, William Hughes sitting nicely. Then a gap to Scott Lawrence and Craig Hewitson just sitting at back. Gee, they're racing hard out front. This is the K race, and they are absolutely going for it. So Binaki and also JLF. The reason to get the split on this one, I said about 66. They're going to be well and truly under that. They're not going to be far off the 60-second mark. So they are absolutely smoking this race. So 62 through the bell. So Binaki and JLF. Then a, a gap to Lindemann. Sullivan Jennings also up there. Lawrence and Hewitts are now coming through. So about 75 for the, uh, the tail enders there. But out front, nothing's really changed. JLF looking quite comfortable there in the heels of Binaki. So I think JLF's about to make the move now as Binaki's just starting to tie up a little bit. Nikovsky in next position. Pointing not far off him. Lindemann also going nicely. Then we have Jennings. But out front, JLF striding out beautifully. He's an unattached runner, so I'd say we're going to see a good performance here from Anjana JLF. So it comes in with a seed time of 2.20, and we're on 157 now. This is going to be well and truly under that. So it's going to be a very good race here in the men's K800, and JLF's going to take this. It's going to be maybe sub 2.10. This is awesome. So JLF stops the clock approximately 2.9, Big run from Binaki. He's held on nicely, set the pace early, and he'll come through with that 2.14, which is remarkably quick. Nikovsky is going to be well under the 2.20. He'll be happy with that. 2.20 also there for, I think that was Jennings. Sorry, that was uh, Poynton. So some big runs. So 2.28 approximately there for Lawrence and Hewitson. Nice field there in the men's K800. So a good field of 11, about to line up in the first of our women's events for the night. So some stellar performers coming throughout the evening here in our women's fields. The women's G800 metres about to get going. Michaela Wood, she will be in station one. Sarah Hunt is in two. Natalie Barr from Ringwood is in three. In four, we've got Willow Devine from Mentone. Charlotte Cunningham from Wellington in five. Louis Bignall is in six. Harriet Gray from Athletics Essendon in seven. Jessica Gibbs in eight. From Mentone, we've got Alan Mitchell in nine. Estelle Sacco from well, an unattached runner is in ten. And Octavia 
Farfaglia is in 11. So they're our starters in the women's G800 metres. So seed times here range from the 238 to about 255. So a little bit of a spread as we normally see in the first of our women's races. But they're off to a very, very good start here. I'll try and pick up who the leader is as they get going. Looks like it could be an Essendon uniform, which could be Harriet Gray. She's a 244 runner. So looks like Gray is off to a good start. From Mentone there, we've got Willow Devine. She's a 240 runner. So I'd be tipping around that 76, 70 second, 77 second mark as they come through at the bell. But they've certainly got out to a nice start. So they're spreading well through the midfield there, just trying to assert their positions. But the pace is a very decent early here for this women's G race. Let's see if we can get a few of these girls under that 240 mark. So they'll be hoping to track through under the 80 seconds. So they're going to be well and truly under that. 60 seconds now as they're all into the home straight. As we see Harriet Gray from Essendon leading the way. Willow Devine in next position. Big run here from Michaela Wood. She's looking strong as she starts to really get moving. Also going now nicely is Louis Bignall. The Ringwood runner just next to her. That's Natalie Barr. So out front still. It is Harriet Gray, but she's about to be challenged. So Willow Devine. So there's a big move early there from Michaela Wood. She's still trying to move forward, and she is. So there's a lot of momentum coming from Michaela Wood. Also there, Natalie Barr also looking good as well as they start to go down the back straight, and this is where it's all going to start to happen. A little bit of breeze coming up now on the track, and they'll be getting that down that back straight. They'll have a nice tailwind as they come into the home straight. So 200 out. Natalie, sorry, it is Willow Devine still leading the way. Now it is the Ringwood runner in Bar. She's starting to make a big move around the top bend the last time. So Devine, Bar. Then we have Wood. Gap back then to our early leader there in Grey. Next one on the track there, Bignall. So coming down, big challenge here. It's right on. Let's get behind these young girls because it's really a good challenge here. But it looks like it will be the Bentone runner, Devine. She'll take it. Right on the 231 mark, so great running. We're going to get a pile of them under the 240 here. Great running also from Wood. Bignall comes through. Then we've also got Farfaglia, and they're just dropping through. Good running here because they're all under their times. So some sensational runners running as we see. Alan Michel, Michelle coming through from Mentone. And our final finisher there, it is Jessica Gibbs. So a very entertaining event there, the women's G 800 metres. So let's go to the next event, the men's J800 metres. We have 11 starters. Kayla McCauley, Western A is in Station 1. St Kevin's Nicholas O'Halloran is in 2. Riley Sullivan takes Station 4. Oscar Gray from Glen Huntley in 5. Kieran Barker, Box Hill in 6. Tim Halpin is in 7. Richard Mullaney is in Station 8. Mark Hipworth from Old Severians is in 9. Lucas Harris from Essendon in 10. In 11, Tyler Hughes from Mornington. And rounding out the field in Station 12, David McColl. We do have a pacemaker, Christian. We're taking them through in approximately 64 seconds. So 64 seconds is what they're after on that first lap. 
Best seed time comes in at about 2 minutes 13 and we range up to about the 2.20 mark. So it looks like it's one of the Box Hill runners also helping in the blue to the outside of him. Now we see the pacemaker in the Milers Club sort of reddish colour singlet just starting to make his way forward. So they're 30 high going through the 200. So pretty much on pace. Helping decides that he's going to go with the pacemaker. Looks like Kieran Barker's the next one in there. So 64 is what they're looking at. And that'll set them up nicely for around that, that 210 to 212 mark. So that it would be better than any of the seed times in this race. So the pacemaker just going a bit wide. So it looks like they're going to be pretty much on time here, if not a little bit quick. So 62, 63, great pacing there. So Barker up there, also Riley Sullivan. Oscar Gray also coming through now. And then we've got from Athletics Essendon, that would be Lucas Harris. But out front, it is helping. Barker on his ankles as they go through there, right on the heels. And they're both looking good down the back straight. If anything, though, I think Kieran Barker feels like he's got the go and he just moves to the outside, not willing to take the lead yet. They're into a bit of a breeze down that back straight. So Riley Sullivan's in that next position. He's got a 2.14 best. We've also got up there Mullaney. Around the bend, the two are going stride for stride. Helpin's got the inner lane, so he's making Barker do the extra distance just out on the shoulder. But Barker just starts to put it in. Helpin goes down again. So we're sitting on 202 at the moment. Big times here. I think I'll call it for Helpin, but Barker's having one more crack. Helpin's holding it out. Oh, I think Helpin just on the inside. Big run here also, though, from Sullivan. Then Gray comes through. Also Harris. Nice run there from Mullaney. McCauley just through. And also Tyler Hughes. And running out the field, David McColl. So some big running there in the men's J800 metres. So don't forget, all results will be coming through to Results Hub fairly quickly. Just do your refresh. So Results Hub will be operating all night. So too, we do have live stream going. It should be via the Milers Club YouTube channel. So if you have to go early and you want to watch more of the action, just keep tuning in to the Milers Club YouTube. Live stream will be provided via Athletics Exclusive. And also, don't forget, we've got to support our host club here, the Box Hill Athletic Club. They've got the canteen going. The barbecue is cooking away. I could smell the onions earlier. So, great night to be just uh, tucking into a little bit of food and drink. Men's I, 800 metres, there are 10 starters. Ethan Evans is in two from Mentone. From, in three, we have James Hansen. Four, we have from Melbourne University, Patrick Nichols. In five, Shamir Friedman from Glenn Huntley. James Martino is in six. Oscar Lichter from Athletics Essendon in seven. Cohen Friff is in eight. Corey Lawson from Mentone is in nine. Isaac Sontag, Williamstown in ten. And from Nana Wadding, Shevin Hetirachi is in 11. Very fast start. Christian is once again pacing. You'll probably see that he will sit back. The Essendon runner there, Oscar Lichter, he's got a 2.11 time. He's going to make it hard for the pacer to catch him. So it's not a big issue. We see the Mentone runner there, Evans, also going and now chasing the Essendon runner. 
And as they start to settle down, now you see the pacemaker. This is good pacing. He's not lost his cool at all. He's going through right on target time. It's just that our leader there, Oscar Lichter, has gone out with a, at a real rate of knots. So the pacemaker's just doing his job there, keeping the Evans from Mentone company as they come around into the home straight for the first time. Friff sitting in there in the bright orange. In the bright green, it's Hansen. So these guys are all around that 210, 211 mark. So let's see if they go through around that 62 maybe or even quicker. So Lichter's coming through on 60 high. Friff coming through now. So great pacing once again by Christian. He did the job he had to do. So the starting to really work out here. Friedman in the Glenn Huntley colours. I like the way it's stretched out here. They've all got a good chance. Isaac Sontag also looking good in that midfield. So this is where we're seeing the moves. And that move first, first, first move is James Hansen in the green. He's gone past Friff. He's now gone past Lichter. So Hansen's the one who they've got to chase. Evans looking good in that fourth slot. And we've also got the Glenn Huntley runner, Friedman, also looking good 200 out. So Hansen's issued the challenge. Friff is the one who's challenged or answered that challenge straight away. We've got Evans going along nicely. Lichter starting to run out of legs. And we've got the Glenn Huntley runner in Friedman just trying to hang on to that bunch. So Hansen's coming in with a 210.6 is his seed time. He's going to absolutely smash that here this evening at Box Hill. So we're not long, much over the two-minute mark. And Hansen, he's going to take it. 205 unofficial. Great run from Evans. Then Friff. Friedman through next to the inside Lichter. Heterarchi also there from Patrick Nichols from Melbourne University. And Lawson rounds it out at around 216 in the men's I-800 metres. So just a reminder, if we can obey the actual running order on the sheet, so don't report into the uh, check-in area unless you're 15 minutes until your race time. So the next event on the track, the women's F800 metres. Great field of nine young ladies lining up here. And we have Freya Miffen is in station one from Wyndham. Keely Williams is in three. In four, we have Ava Plant. In five, Ava's in the Box Hill Little Laughs colours, so home track for her. Jamie Lee Cobain from Essendon's in five. Madeline Keeney from Doncaster. She is in station six. We have Lucy Reed in station eight. In station nine, Georgie Lindsay from Glen Huntley. In station 10, Riddy Mater. In station 11, Alicia Harmer from Ringwood. They are our nine starters in the women's F800 metres. So no paces in this one. The young ladies are racing their hearts out and it's a good even start. If anything, it might be Lucy Reed just starting to get out early. On the inside, Niven is working nicely. To the outside of her, it is Williams from Wyndham in the orange uniform. And I think it might be her who takes the lead as they do start to settle. So Williams, I think, plants just to the outside of her. Then we have Harmer, just sitting in the pack nicely, but very nicely sitting or you know, staying together at the moment and going through the first 200 in a reasonably sharp time. So the young Glenn Huntley girl there, Georgie Lindsay, also looking good, just sitting there in that third position to the inside of her. There's a taller figure there in Cobain from Athletics Essendon. But Williams from Wyndham, going along nicely. I mean, plant to the outside of her. She's in the Box Hill Littles uniform once again. You can see the Doncaster uniform there. That's Madeline Kearney. She's sitting just a little bit wide on the track. And as they go through, it is Plant Williams. 
Also Reed, then Cobain, then Harmer. Bit of a gap then back to Freya Miven and also Riddy Mata. But out front, not much has changed, but we're seeing Alicia Harmer just starting to get a little bit of momentum. My apologies. No, that is the Essendon uniform in Cobain. So Cobain has taken the lead. Plant. Then Williams. Reed also up there. A little bit of a gap then to Harmer. Another gap back to the Doncaster runner in Kearney. And with her is Lindsay from Glen Huntley. But out front, Jamie Lee Cobain leading the way, setting a really good pace. Top seed here is around the 2.30 mark. And we're looking, it'll be around that as they come into the home straight the last time. So Cobain is leading that. Let's see if we can get them under the 2.30 mark. None of the seed times here under 2.30. So let's get a few of them under if we can. 2.20 now. So Jamie Lee Cobain, Ava Plant coming through together. Cobain, I think, will be strong enough. Williams still up there. So too is Reed. Yes, we've got a few under the 2.30. Fantastic running. Reed will have to wait on the official time. Good, good running. Also Harmer. Then we have Kearney, Lindsay through now, M Miven and also Meta. So very competitive run there in the women's F, 800 metres. Taken out by Jamie Lee Cobain from Athletics Essendon. But we're going to get another little sprinkle of rain, so take cover under the stand. Full field of 11, the men's H, 800 metres. Ethan Miller from Glen Huntley is in station one. Noah Fort from Ringwood is in two. Emila Jalaf is in three. James McInerney from Waverley is in four. His Waverley teammate, Craig Sanford, is in station six. In station seven from Wellington, Max Donahue. Station eight, it is Fint Johnson from Old Melburnians. Station nine, Josh Lewin from St Kevin's. Station 10, Riley Stewart from Wellington. And in Station 11 from South Melbourne, it is Anmol Benapal. And Christian is pacing once again. So pa expected pace, 61 through the first lap. That'll test Sanford. So once again, let's see how... The pacer responds, he's doing a great job here, not panicking early, letting them settle and then going into position. The perfect way to pace these races, but it is Noel Fort from Ringwood looking strong early. Also JLF up there, so Christian's just to the outside now and starts to bring himself across. So now we see one of our more experienced runners there, James McInerney. He's sitting up the front, so getting out of trouble. Being spat out the back there a little bit is Lewin. Sanford's just in front of him, so not a bad spot to be for young Lewin. But out front, it's McInerney. And the Wellington runner there is Max Donahue. He's a 208 man. So this race ranges from 208 to 209. Sorry, 27 to 29. So tightly bunched. So Christian's just leading them through here. They're looking at about the 61 second mark, and I think they're going to be right on that. As we see the old Melburnians runner Finn Johnson going to the outside. 61 right on the knocker. So this is good. Lewin just hanging on to Sanford. In front of them there is Ethan Miller. Benapal just ahead of them. So if two of the Wellington runners here. I think I'm calling them right. So Stewart's sitting back there just ahead of Benapal. And up the front I think that is the other Wellington runner in Max Donahue. But out, and that is Donahue starting to make the moves here. So McInerney's gone wide and allowing JLF to come at him from the outside as well. The Williamstown runner there, and that is Jed Gibney. 
But as JLF's put the foot down, 200 out. Comes in with seat time of 208. But JLF really going for it now. This is quite an impressive run. A good finish here. He's really putting the wheels down as he gets moving. Donahue in next position. Johnson also up there. Then we have McInerney to the outside of him. It is the Williamstown runner in Gibney, but JLF's going to stop the clock about 2.03. Donahue also in for a big PB. Johnson also. Nice run from Johnson. Good run there from Riley Stewart. So some big runs there. What a condensed field that was, but we'd sort of expect that when we're moving through the H events here. So very competitive race, but a good win there. Amila, JLF. Looks like he's from the Berwick XCT team. So just a little bit of a break here because we are getting, we're nearly five minutes ahead of program. So we're just going to bring it back to schedule, especially for our live stream audience so they don't miss their loved ones racing around here at Hagenara Reserve. So we'll introduce the field shortly. And we're moving through to the men's G800 scheduled for 6.35 p.m. Sorry for keeping the boys waiting in the rain, but... They'll appreciate that once they get going. All right, let's introduce our field, the men's G800 metres. There are nine starters. Ben Forster, St Kevin's, is in Station 1. Next to him, Nathaniel Ueka from Doncaster's in 2. Oliver Evans is in 3. Next to him is Charlie Gunn from St Kevin's in 4. Liam Stocky from Old Severians is in 6. Ben Lund in 7. In eight, Joshua Daly from Collingwood Harriers. In nine, Jed Schofield from Wellington. And in ten, from Melbourne University, Josh Turner. This is their field in the men's G, 800 metres. So big start there for Oliver Evans. Says he's unattached here, but he's in the old Zavarian's uniform, or the Xavier uniform, the red and black. So Evans off to a good start. No pacer in this one. Ueka, next one to start moving forward. Also with him is the St Kevin's runner there. Looks like forces on the inside on the rails. The other old Severian there, Liam Stocky, just sitting back a little bit with Melbourne University's Josh Turner. So out front, Evans leads the way. Ueka looking strong as he goes round the top bend the first time. Just off the back of him, here's the St Kevin's runner in Charlie Gunn. So nice pacing here. This is a 205 to 207 race. So I think that we're going to see them running through under that 60 second mark. Can we see our first sub two here? So they're going through nicely. Evan's done a great job. 57 mid. Also up there is Joshua Daly. He's looking strong from Collingwood Harriers. Ben Lund in next position. He's in the green. So Ueka sitting nicely now off the back of Evans. Gap then, and we're seeing the Collingwood Harrier coming through. That's Joshua Daly starting to make his moves. Ueka still looking quite comfortable. Evans moving nicely still. Can we set this up for a sub two? Ueka now decides he's going to go to the outside, and he's made the passing move. Evans aggressive early, now paying it 200 out. But Ueka looking strong.
So 140 on the clock now. It's going to be close. I don't think we'll get the sub two. They're just tiring that little bit on this second lap. But Nathaniel Ueka looking strong as they come through. Big finish here from Ben Lund in the green. He's coming alongside Evans. Also up there still is Charlie Gunn. And it could be raining down here on Ueka. But we're going to be right on the two minutes. They were close. Evans and Lund. Then Gunn. Big run then also for Daly. Nice finish there, Liam Stocky. So Forster with him. And also turn up. The good run there. Gee, just missed that two-minute mark. It'll come for the young guys. A little bit of moisture around here at Box Hill. But conditions still quite good as we saw from that race. Ueka has gone from a 206 to I reckon a 200 or 201 at worst. So one to watch there as we proceed through the season here. So next event on the track will be the women's E800 metres. We have Meg Miles in Station 1, Sarah Hastings from Mentone in 2, Charlotte Wilson is in 3. In 5 we've got Chloe, Chloe Baldock from Doncaster, Evie Lurie is in 6, Christina Nkowski from Yarra Rangers is in 7, Alicia Reid from Wellington in 8. Charlotte Senior from Doncaster in 9. Jennifer Mendes from Athletics Essendon in 10. And Tilly Bahagia from Wellington is in 11. So there are our starters in the women's E800 metres. So a nice even start. Charlotte Wilson starting to move nicely through the mid-stages. To the outside, that was, looks like it's Alicia Reid from a Wellington. And on the inside now, Mick Miles is starting to make her moves. So as they settle, it will be Reid from Wellington leading the way. Her Wellington teammate there going with her. Probably training partners. Two Wellington girls looking good out to the front. You can see the Mentone uniform that Sarah Hastings sitting nicely in fourth position. So nicely bunched. As you see, Mendez just starting to make her way through the field. So Reed leading it. 
Hastings to the outside there in the Mentone colours. But Hajia also looking quite strong in the Wellington runner. So a 1-2 for Wellington at the moment. Chloe Borlock looking good. So Evie Lurie also moving nicely. So Nikovsky and Mendez out the rear of the field. Miles just starting to come back a little bit too, but still a 1 2. But Haji is looking quite comfortable there on the shoulder of a teammate, Reed. I think we might see a passing move down this back straight. Hastings starting to make her way forward. Baldock also in the mix there. Then we have Wilson and also Lurie. So out front, no change apart from the fact that Sarah Hastings has joined the bunch, the two girls from Wellington. So it's going to be a matter of who from that three can really come through. We're also seeing, I think that's Wilson starting to come through now. But out front, all oh, the mate, gee, Reed's strong here. Gee, this is one to watch for. It's been a big run from Reed out front, but Hastings is going to challenge her. This is really going to produce good times. Hastings is coming in for 228. She's going to take the lead here and take the win. So Sarah Hastings is going to be well and truly under a PB. Big run from Reed. She's a 229 runner. What a gutsy run that was, though. So Hastings takes it in 24. Reed right up there. Nice finish there from Wilson just over Bahaja. Big run also there from Luri. So Nikovsky coming through. And also Miles and Mendez. Men's F, 800 metres. We have eight starters. Thomas Lynette from Ringwood is in station one. From Doncaster, Will Katick is in two. Taj Davies is in four. In five, we have Jack Waters from Box Hill. In six, Jared Cripps from Diamond Valley. Mark Sodden from Richmond Harriers is in seven. Dashiell Muir from Williamstown, he's in nine. And from Keelos and Bernards, Ethan Bloss is in ten. So no pacemaker in this one. They are racing eight across the track and the pace already is on. As you can see from Lynette, really pushing the pace in lane one, trying to keep in this pack. But as they settle, Cripps to the outside. Jack Waters moving beautifully. Caddick just looking good in that third position. Deshiel Muir in the uh, Williamstown colours sitting beautifully in the mid pack as well. Stodden sitting at the rear of the field and just pulling off the good pace there as they go through well under that 30-second mark through 200. So pace is on the men's F, 800 metres. As we see, Waters from Box Hill, Cripps, then Caddick. Taj Davies coming in for 2.02. Best seat time, 2.01.60, and it is our race leader, and that's Jack Waters. So Waters setting the pace for Cripps. Caddick sitting in a good position there. Muir going to the outside. Stodden made a good move there. Gone past Lynette and also Ethan Bloss. So just waiting for Caddick to go to the outside. I think he's got the legs now and it's Waters still leading the way through. 300 out. So Stodden in a good position there in position six. And we're seeing Davies now the one to make the move and Stodden following him. That's a great move there. So Stodden started to get a real head of pace as they go down the back straight. Waters just easing back. Caddick sitting back, still off Cripps. And it's Stodden who's going to go to the lead here. Went from sixth. He's in now in third. He's now in second. And Cripps battling. They're gone three wide round the bend. Not a bad thing to do. We're seeing Stodden driving again. 
Great race here. Davies going with him and really charging. But Mark Stodden in the Richmond colours comes into the home straight. Davies to the outside of him. This is building to be a good finish. Looks like Davies has gone out. Caddick's made his move finally. Stodden pushing on. 157. Just going to miss the two minutes, but it's going to be a great run. Stodden, that's a big one. 202. Caddick's just to the outside. Davies, then Waters, Cripps, Muir, Lynette and Bloss. Interesting race. Men's E800 next on the track. We have nine starters. Josh Asgar from Doncaster. He'll be starting in Station 1. Jake Olerenshaw from Nunawading. He's in two. Kirk Shanahan, Western A's. Station 3 from Knox. Daniel Malone is in four. From Bendigo Uni, Nathan Crowley is in five. Ryan Gillespie is in seven. In eight, Tom Forster, St. Kevin's. In nine, Oscar O'Connor from Doncaster. And Alex Shear-Jones is in station 10 from Old Scotch. So shall we see the first of our sub twos here? This field is capable of doing it. In fact, Oscar O'Connor's already got the 159.9 to his name. So who's leading out? Looks like Forster's really gone for it. Oliver and Shaw also chasing. Then we have Gillespie. Shanahan in the Western A's uniform sitting there. As we see, Shears Jones going to the outside. Gee, they're moving beautifully early on here. So Tom Forster, 200.9 is the seed time. Shears Jones now chasing, as we see Forster just starting to settle as he comes into the home straight that first time. So Forster, Shears Jones, Gillespie, Olerenshaw on the rails. Malone just sitting out a little back, a bit. I think O'Connor is in one of those next positions. Shanahan also up there. So Nathan Crowley sitting beautifully at the back of that pack at the moment. But we're seeing the gap come through. Shears Jones just kept his cool. Forster just bolted out. And Shears Jones looking very impressive down the back straight. So the old Scotch runner really starting to move it through now. Alex Shears Jones, 200.4 is his seed time. 125 through the 600. So there's a few on the cards here for the sub two. If they can hold it together, those top three can potentially do it. Shears Jones looking strong, rounding the bend the last time. So Alex Shears Jones 
Let's get him under the two minutes. This is where the legs really start to go into that home straight. It seems like about 200 metres, not 100. But let's get behind. This will be our first sub. Two minutes for the night. Well and truly under as well. Alex Shears Jones, what a race. Let's get them all under. 155 unofficial. Then Forster. Then Gillespie. Shanahan also under. Malone under as well. What a race. That's what Miler's Club's all about. So unofficially around the 155, 156. Alex Shears, Jones, what a race. Not to be outdone by Tom Forster. Set the pace early. Crowley once again under the two. So great running there. Malone, I think, has got under. Gillespie, unattached, breaks two. That's not bad. So once again, this well-oiled machine called Miler's Club doing really well. And we're just holding the girls back because we don't want to get too far ahead of the program. So don't forget, on uh, here, the Box Hill Barbecue is cooking away. So make the most of what's on offer here. On uh, down the back straight, go and check out the range of shoes. Very impressive what they've brought along tonight. So go and have a little play and feel and put them on, try them on, see what those ons feel like on your feet. So great to have on on board once again. And they are, as we said, now doing the encouragement award here at Miler's Club. So our two recipients, male and female, they take home a pair of the on clouds or the monster clouds. Let's introduce our field, the women's D800 metres. There are 10 starters. Lucy Kearney from Doncaster is in station one. Matty Boyd from Wellington is in two. Yvette Cordy, Glenn Huntley is in station three. Brianna Sherry from Casey Gardinia is in four. Caitlin Charles from Carayo is in five. Aranika Wali from Box Hill is in six. Karen Hader from Amentone is in seven. Monique Williams, Box Hill in eight. From Athletics Essendon, it is Alexis Sheed in nine. And from Ringwood, Chloe Lynette in ten. Ten starters, the women's D, 800 metres. So good start there from Boyd from Wellington, getting out nicely in lane two. Hayter also going well. It's going to be interesting to see how they settle. Brianna Sherry also likes a nice fast start. And I think Bree Sherry is going to take the lead in the Casey Cadini uniform as they do settle. So Hayter slipping into the second position. The young girl from Carrara there, Caitlin Charles, sitting up nicely. Yvette Cordy, the experienced runner. I think former Victorian 400 metre hurdle champs. She's sitting right in the middle there in the Glen Huntley uniform. But out front, Hayter and also Sherry going toe to toe. Gap then to Boyd. She's decided to sit back and it may not be a bad strategy because there's a lovely bunch just sitting off the back of her. So out the front, Sherry pushing the pace. Hayter going with her. Gap then to Boyd. To the outside there, it is Charles from Carrio. And also one of the Box Hill runners there, or Monique Williams from Box Hill, also going wide. So Sherry's coming through. Got a seat time of 2.22, and they're through in 66. Hayter looking strong. Charles also looking good. Wally to the outside, a teammate there, also with her in Williams. Lynette just sitting off the back of the field, but it's all going to start to come together down this back straight second time around. So Sherry and Hayter. 
going, really duking it out here, but Hayter just looking a little bit more fluid as they go down the back straight. Cordy sitting beautifully in that position. To the outside of her is Wally. Boyd from Wellington also looking strong, maintaining that position. But we're seeing Karen Hayter from Mentone just starting to take the ascendancy as they hit 200 out in 143. So a 2.23 runner is Karen Hayter. She's looking better than that tonight. I think we're going to see a big PB from her. So coming through on the two-minute mark now, through to the last 100. So Hayter, Sherry, Boyd, to the outside, Cordy. It looks like Karen Hayter's got it. Let's see how far under that 2.23 she's going to go. Let's get her under the 2.20. So Karen Hayter, eye on the clock. She's going to break the 2.20 mark here tonight at Box Hill. 219, big run from Boyd. She'll be just over. Great running once again from Cordy. Then Wally, Charles, Sherry. Also up there, Sheed. Then we have Keeney, Lynette, and also Williams. So Karen Haydar, first sub 220 here this evening at Hagenauer Reserve. So good run set up by Bree Sherry. Really went for it as she often does, but uh, it was Karen Haydar from Mentone taking out the women's D 800 metres. Big field of 12, the men's D, 800 metres. Got a few extras finding their way into this field. Station one, we welcome the first of our interstaters for the evening. It's Henry Diggle from Tasmania, station one. Also from across the ditch from New Zealand, we have in station two, Julian Baker. Station three from Western Athletics, it is Nathan Pearce. Benjamin Purser from Doncaster will share that lane. He's in station four. Brad Hall from Knox is in five. Just Simfendorfer from St. Kevin's, he's in six. Bob Abdulrahim from Western Australia is in seven. Robert Weiss from Western A is in eight. Kevin Zoo, Glenn Huntley in nine. Janik Ernst from Athletics Essendon in ten. Also, we have Geordie Walsh in 11 and Riley Walsh from Athletics Essendon. He is in 12. So 12 starters. Keep the elbows down, guys. This will be interesting. Men's D, 800 metres.
should have been in a previous part. So just about to get under the starters' orders now. The men's D 800 metres, 12 starters. So underway, no pace makers. Field of 12, this will be very willing. Some good talent in this field. Now, Dorahim from Western Australia is a 158 runner. They're all ranging from 158 to 159. I'm tipping this could be a 155 race, if not better. Abdul Rahim looks so solid out front. Kevin Zhu going with him. So I see a Doncaster uniform there in Persa also going nicely early. Sinfendorf is sitting back early. The Essendon runner as well. So Ernst in about fifth position. The New Zealander running nicely there. Julian Baker, he's a 158 man at the moment. Has run quicker than that. But Bob Abdul Rahim from Western Australia. Really showing them how it's done out front at the moment. Looking very, very smooth as they're coming through. 52, 53, 54. So as I said, it could be a 155. Purse is starting to tie up. And then Ernst has made a good move. Henry Diggle from Tasmania going well. He's just gone to the outside and trying to follow those moves. But the first one to really make a big move was the Essendon runner there. And that is Ernst. So Abdul Rahim still looking strong out front for the Western Australian. Now Nathan Pearce starts to move through. He's got a bit of a blister issue after winning the two bays 28k and he's stepping down to an 800. That's brave. White's his teammate from Western A's also going through nicely and passing Ernst. Now we're seeing Persa go again. Then Simfendorfer starting to really move around that bend. But Abdul Rahim still got a 10 metre break over White's. Pierce just starting to tie up, but it's Simpendorfer also coming through nicely. Time check, 146 as they come through. Told you it's going to be quick here in this D race, and it will be Bob Abdul Rahman. He'll take it out. About a 54. Great running. Whites has got a 55. Good running from Pierce and Simpendorfer. Then Diggle comes through. Zoo, nice finish from him. Baker just tying up a bit. Ernst. Then we have the two Walshers. And that is Riley and also Geordie rounding out our field in an entertaining men's D, 800 metres.
Seven starters, the women's C, 800 metres. In station two from Doncaster, it's Sonabaka. In three, Meg Dean. In four, sorry, in five, Stephanie Mundy from Awendari. Thanya Vijay Akuma from Glen Huntley is in six. Lucy Jones from Eureka is in seven. Ada Hill Wellington in eight. And Emma Wadley from Glen Huntley is in nine. There are starters in the women's C, 800 metres. So seven starters, Mundy probably the top seed. She's sitting in a lane of four, sorry, lane five. Meg Dean just to the inside of her. Sonabaka in lane one. VJ Kuma wouldn't surprise me if Thanya takes the lead as they start to settle. But there's a few starting to push forward now. And it looks like it might be Meg Dean and Steph Mundy, the ones who are going to settle them down here. Still a nice bunch though. Emma Wadley sitting at the rear of the field in the Glen Huntley uniform. Lucy Jones just ahead of her. So about 32 through the 200. Meg Dean now clearly in the lead and setting that pace. VJ Akuma just to the outside of Mundy. But a very, very tight bunch here of young ladies in this C race. So seed times range from around the 2.17, 2.18 through to 2.21. So Lucy Jones to the outside there. Wadley very outside and they've got to start to come in. VJ Akuma, her teammate just in front of her. Backer sitting nicely in the middle of the pack. Meg Dean now leading the way. So the Wellington runner there, Ada Hill, goes to the outside. VGA Kuma decides it's her turn out front. A little bit of pushing and shoving as Jones comes onto the inside of Dean. Backer still well positioned there. Mundy at the rear with Wadley. Now to the outside goes Lucy Jones, the young girl from Eureka. So the yellow uniform starting to work its way forward. So it is the two regional girls there from Wellington. We've got Ada Hill, Lucy Jones following her, Mundy and Dean toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Backer fighting on beautifully. The two Glen Huntley girls now at the rear of the field. That's Vijay Akuma and Wadley. But, gee, they're still tightly bunched 200 out. So Jones puts the foot down at that 200. Backers showing a very strong performance to the outside there, running in third position to the outside of Mundy. So Jones will lead them into the straight. So it's Jones, Hill, Backer. Now Dean showing that pro running prowess, going to the outside and really motoring down. Lucy Jones leading the way. Dean, Hill, Mundy coming through strongly as well. It looks like Lucy Jones is going to take this. Time check around that 2.19. Dean will take second, then Mundy. VJ Akuma potentially over Hill. Then we have Wadley and also a backup. But gee, nice tight seating there. Good race. And it is young Lucy Jones from Eureka. First time under 220, I believe, for her. And what a way to do it here at Milers Club in the C 800 metres. Men's C, 800 metres. And we have nine starters. Jackson Unthank from Ballerine. He is in station one. Next to him, Hamish Bayless is in two. Isaac Rosado takes station three. Charles Barrett is in four. Oliver Armstrong from Ballerine, station five. Jamie Lawrence, we welcome him from Tasmania. He's in station seven. Station 8, Joshua Unfang from Ballerine. 
Station nine, Angus Melden from Ireland. Station 10 is Simon Fitzpatrick, and he will be starting in lane three. So that's our field in the men's C, 800 metres. So we do have a pacemaker getting around. We have the two unthanked twins. Let's see if I can make the difference. No, they're not making it. Oh, one's got the headband on, and I think that's Jackson. So pacemaker's going hard and early, and Charles Barrett's deciding he's going to go with him. Rosado going too. Then we have the Irishman, Melden, sitting beautifully there, just behind our Tasmanian, which is Jamie Lawrence. Simon Fitzpatrick, we saw him run a sensational race here at meet number two to take out his heat in the 800. He's sitting mid-pack at the moment. The two unfanked boys at the rear of the field. They're both 157, sorry, oh yeah, 157. They've been really cranking it up, those two twins, in the junior ranks here in Victoria. So coming through, it's going to be about the 53-second mark. Barrett leading, 54, so Mitch leading the way. Hamish Bayless just getting, having to make his way through with the pacemaker. But Barrett leading from Rosado. Lawrence in next position. Bayless, then a gap to Weldon. So Armstrong now starting to make a big move down the back straight as well. Fitzpatrick surrounded by the two young twins there as they start to move. But out front, it is still Barrett leading. Looks like it is the Tasmanian to the inside there, Bayless to the outside. The one I'm watching here, though, is Oliver Armstrong in the ballerine uniform. He's coming home strong, but, gee, Barrett's a talent, isn't he? It looks like he's just going to be outkicked here by the Tasmanian Lawrence, or is he? No, Barrett kicks again. So Charles Barrett, he'll take it, 153-54. Then great run from Armstrong. Then Bayless, Rosado, Melden, Unthank, Joshua that was, then Jackson, Fitzpatrick coming through. But good run there. Geez, a talent. Charles Barrett takes that one out around the 154 mark. So let's go to our next event. It's getting swift here now, and it is the women's B800 metres, a full field of nine. Station one, representing Glen Huntley Athletic Club, it is Amy McKinley. Station two, from Diamond Valley, Ali Brooks. Station three, from Box Hill, Julie Fitt. Station four, we welcome from South Australia, Malika McLeod. Five, from Glen Huntley, Tanasha Santosh. In six, from South Australia, Annabelle Kito. In seven, we wel well, from Doncaster, we welcome back Connor Gist. In eight, from Deakin, it is Isla Bradshaw. And in nine, from Collingwood Harriers, Lucy Delbridge. There are nine starters in the women's B800. So a beautiful rainbow to the other side of the track here and we're seeing some very sharp form here in this B800. Julie Fit looking strong. Ali Brooks really going for it early. And as they settle, I think Brooks in Diamond Valley might be the one who settles out front. Gist, good to see her back in that Doncaster uniform, but it is Ali Brooks really chasing this time here. Santosh going with her, now they'll settle. So pull that pace back, settle it down. Kiddo sitting midfield, Malika McLeod at the rear of the field in the fluoro green. So out front, Ali Brooks, Santosh, Gist, Kiddo in that order. Julie Fitz sitting beautifully in the mid-pack at the moment. They are all sitting together, which is good. So good field here, McKinley just at the rear of the field, McLeod in front of her. So Brooks just settling them down. Let's see what the moves are down this home straight as the pace really starts to come off. So Brooks is leading. Gist to the outside, splitting them in between is Santosh. 
Dalbridge in the Collingwood uniform just to the outside and Bradshaw just sitting beautifully in there. Kito's the one that makes the move. 65 first lap. Fit just getting a little bit in trouble there behind Brooks. But out front, Kito leading. Gist in good position. Santosh also and Julie Fit making her way through. So Annabelle Kiddo, South Australian. She's out by a few metres now. Connor Gist just starting to make her move. Bradshaw, the next one to watch. She's just going past McLeod at the moment. But Kiddo looking strong, 200 out. Gist, what she got left. Also Santosh and Fit. That top four probably looking the goods here. So out front it is still Annabelle Kiddo, the South Australian. She's got the cheer squad at the tail end of this uh, course here, waiting for her to get in. Can Connor Gist ruin the parade here? But also Julie Fit, maybe the one who's going to come over the top. So Kiddo comes into the home straight l for the last time. 2.03 on the clock at the moment. We're going to see some pretty impressive times. So Kiddo just holding, just holding. Fit the one to challenge. Julie Fit will take it. Big run from Fit. Fit Kiddo. Then Gis Santos. Brooks, big run from her. McLeod, Bradshaw, Delbridge and McKinley. Field of nine, the men's B, 800 metres, and they are Oscar Masaraki from Collingwood Harriers is in station one. From Mentone, Jordy Hoare in two. James Taranto, Box Hill is in three. In four, John Kuol from Casey Cardinia. In five, from Warnington Peninsula, Jake Stevens. Mitchell Langbourne from Keelor St Bernard's is in six. Peter Holland, Doncaster is in seven. We welcome from Tasmania, Alex Hannigan in eight. And from Glen Huntley, James Hatton is in station nine. So no pacemakers, but a good field. Some good talent. Some of these boys have run A races on many occasions here, so they know what it's like to get into a good pace race. And it is Kuol from Casey Cadinia who is going to be their pacemaker as they go down the back straight. Stevens up there as well as Maseraki. Hoare also in the mix. In fact, they're all in the mix. Hatton sitting beautifully at the rear of the field because they're through very sharply here. Langbourne also sitting at the back at the moment. So Taranto from Box Hill, just in that breach in between, that big pack out front. Maseraki on the inside, Kual still leading it. To the outside there, it is Holland. So Stevens in good position, one out, one back. We're seeing Langbourne now deciding he wants to go. They're out into lane four as Mitch Langbourne decides he wants to pick the pace up. They're through in 55. Hatton's got a bit of work to do. Hannigan also just sitting off the back of the pack. Hoare just starting to drift back a little bit. But out front, it is Langbourne, Stevens, Kuol. Then Taranto, Maseraki in Hoare in next position. Then Holland. Then our Tasmania in Hannigan. And then Hatton. So Mitch Langbourne on his way back into racing. Hasn't done a lot this season. Very hard to see him. He's gone into the B race. Often will race A's. So will Jake Stevens. But they're getting their performances on the board now and starting to set themselves up for the second half of this track and field season. So Mitch Langbourne, he's coming into that home straight the first time or the last time, leading the way. He's got a few metres there on Stevens, who's battling nicely. Taranto also Hall coming home strongly. But Mitch Langbourne's going to take it. Time check 149, 150, 51. Good run, Mitch. 
And then Stevens, Maseraki, Hoare, Taranto, Holland to the outside, Cool, big finish from Hatton and Hannigan and round out the field, men's B, 800 metres. Let's get into the action now. It's the women's A800, much anticipated race here. We have got a very, very good field, and let's introduce them. We saw her run such a big race at the last meet. We welcome back to Milers Club, Jamie Wainwright. She is in Station 1. We also extend a big welcome from Queensland, Jemima Tanakoon. She is in 2. Isabel Scott, South Australian, now in Victoria. Good to see her racing again. Izzy Scott lines up in station number three. Big welcome also, station four from Western Athletics, the one and the only Morgan Mitchell. Next to her, she's the big performer from last season. Good to have her back on the Box Hill track. The 201.90 seed time, it is Ali Sanford. In six, Maccabi, the Israeli champion, 206 runner, Shani Landon. Next to her, Sarah Billings, who will be our pacemaker. They're looking at a 59 first lap. To the outer lanes, we have the girl, two girls from Western A's. It is Rochelle Kennedy in seven and rounding out the field from Western Athletics also, Honor Tobin. That's our field in the women's A, 800 metres. So lots to watch for here. Billings will take the pace. Squeezed out a little bit at the moment. Wainwright on the inner lanes. Tanakoon, the Queenslander, looking nice. She's in the blue. Also in the blue to the outside of her is Izzy Scott, former South Australian. Good to have her across here. But out front, it is Sanford, Mitchell, Landon going to. Kennedy's made the big move. Now Tobin moves up. So Billings setting the pace. They're looking for a 59, setting it up for Sanford. Also Mitchell and whoever else wants to go with them. But Sarah Billings looking strong as they settle. So starting to go into a single file now, which is exactly what we want. Not bunched up. The pace is on. Sanford looking so smooth. Morgan Mitchell also tracking along very, very nicely. So into the home straight, we see Sarah Billings in the paces singlet. Setting a very, very good tempo here. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Right on the 60. Mitchell now a little bit uh, separated from Sanford. Then Landon, Kennedy, Scott, Wainwright, Tenek Boone, and then Tobin. So Pacemaker's got him through to 450, maybe 500. And it's now Ali Sanford out on her own, running past the rainbow. Gap of about 10 to 12 metres back to Morgan Mitchell, who's moving very well. Izzy Scott, the next one to make the move. Kennedy going with her. Then Landon. Wainwright still up there nicely and moving well. Tenekun's going with her. Little gap back to the young girl there in Tobin. So thrown into the big league here in the A race. But out front, it's all Ali Sanford. We're going to be watching the time here. So comes in with a seed time of 201.90. Ali Sanford, one of the big performers in the last season. Let's get behind her. The Box Hill girl running very strongly here. Ali Sanford, 156 on the clock. She's going to be close to that 201. Going to be close to the two minutes. Ali Sanford, 202 thereabouts. Big run from Scott and Mitchell, 205, 206. Another one from Rochelle Kennedy. Wainwright. And Landon Tenekoon's made the trip down and made it worthwhile. And let's support on a Tobin thrown right up into the big league. 216 for her. So fantastic running. The women's A, 800. Taken out by Ali Sanford. Wait for the official times. Remember, they'll be coming through to Results Hub very quickly.
Let's introduce our field now, the men's A, 800 metres. We have a full field of nine. Station one, big welcome from Tasmania, Gus Tomlinson Smith. Station two, we saw him make that big breakthrough, Milers Club two here in the 1500 metres. Great to see him in an A race and he deserves the spot. It is Remy Williams. Next to him, regular here, did a great pacing job last meet. Great running also at Stromlo from Casey Gadinia, Lachlan Hurd. Station four, we welcome from the ACT. He's got a 150.2 to his name, Riley McGowan. Station five from Collingwood Harriers. Another big performer from Meet 2. It's the one and only Jamie Harrison. In six, regular here at Milers. We love seeing him over here. 150.9 seed time from South Australia, Harry May. In seven, another regular. We love that uniform. We love the headband. It is from Geelong Guild, Joshua Perdrasat. In eight, another South Australian, DeGras, Amakata, a 151 man. He is in station eight. And in station nine, he got the call up today. You're in the A race, Matty. So Matty Goff takes station nine, a 152 runner. Let's go. The men's A, 800 metres. So no pacing, they're racing. And we've got some great races in this field. Remy Williams, what an exciting prospect. To the outside, Goff and Perdrasat trying to go strongly to settle themselves in. Harrison, probably one of the men of the moment at the moment in that Collingwood uniform. And as they settle, no one really wants to take it. I think Harrison's being pushed forward. Oop, this is what happens when no one wants it. But Harrison now starts to step forward. 200 in. Missed the split time. About the 27 mark, I think, as they start to settle. McGowan is up there. Perdrasat there as well. The tall figure of Harry May sitting midfield. Amber Carter not too far off the back of him. Wormers has been spat out the back a little bit at the moment, but there's still a fair way to go. Goff to the outside. So Harrison, race winner here last time. McGowan loving the pace that's being set. So 54, nothing too outrageous, setting up for a good finish. And as we see, they're all still together. So Tomlinson Smith's trying to make some room around there, but Goff's in the way. Out front, it's still Harrison. McGowan, bit of a gap then to May. Then we have another gap then to Hurd, which surprises me. Remy Williams finding it pretty tough there in this field, but motoring along beautifully down the back straight. Tomlinson Smith and Goff also going nicely, and Amicata now starting to make his move. Out the front, it is McGowan, though, who's starting to challenge Harrison. Harry Smith, oh, sorry, Harry, Harry May also trying to make up the ground there, but on side by side as they come into the home stretch, it's McGowan and Harrison. Will we see the ACT Raider take this one? Harrison's strong, though. He's fighting him off. McGowan to the outside. Harris, Harrison on the inside, and Harrison just takes it. Well, just under the 150. Harry May, Amicata, big run from a Williams. Hurd, Goff, Tomlinson Smith. Some big running there, but a nice win. Jamie Harrison just from my, Riley McGowan. So great racing, guys, and the men's A, 800 metres. bit of and a break in the program. Good chance to check out what Box Hill have got on offer here in the canteen and the barbecue. Beautiful rainbow right across the sky on the back straight there. And that's where On are positioned. So if you want a little bit of sunshine, head over to On. They've got all of their range here 
this afternoon or this evening for you to check out. So 1500 program starting soon. So once again, let's go by our event programming here. Don't step over into the check-in area until you are required. And also, we've just got to be a little bit careful with the crowd on the infield obstructing the view of the starters. So make sure we've got clear line of vision. As the sun comes out here at Box Hill... So we'll be starting with lower grades in the 15, but not too far away we will have those A1500s. Rain and blue sky coming as well. This is gorgeous. Conditions absolutely perfect here for middle distance running. And as we saw there in the men's and women's A's. So results are up on Results Hub. You can check out all the times. And remember, live stream is coming through via the Miners Club YouTube. Sun is out. So next event on the track will be the first of our 1,500 metres. We will have 14 starters. So 7.35 expected start time. So a couple of minutes, so let's get them on the line. So as I said, results all up on Results Hub, so check them out. So some great performances so far this evening. Unfortunately, we did miss calling the dash for cash. It's already been run and won, so we'll try and get a fix on who got that one. So next event on the track, the first of our 1500s, it's the men's N 1500, event number 20 of 38. So in station two we have Ollie Burt, Francesco Carasella is in three, Ashton Ford is station four from Mentone, Vernon Gibson in five, Ian Dent is in six, Patrick Carasella is in seven, from Mentone Samuel Gibson in eight. Anthony Miven in nine. Kai Davenport, we saw him in the eight. He's lining up in the 15. He's in 10 from Mornington Peninsula. Lenny Gray is in 13. From, in 14, Charlie Morton. In 15 from Melbourne Uni, Jonathan Mansa. Geordie rollings Wurak from Alf Athletic Southwest is in 16. And Taj Fox is in 17. They're our starters in the men's N 1500.
So in the starter's hands. So away they go. Now, once again, can we make a call out that you should only be on the infield if you are in one of the races coming up? We want the infield clear, please. So we'll make the call as they come around, but nice steady start to this men's N 1500. 14 starters. So 18 1500 metre races to come. So pretty heavy on, I think about 60% of our participants this evening are running 1500s. So around they come for the first time. Definitely a Mentone runner up there, but also we've got Charlie Morton. Jonathan Mansell up there as well. He's in the Melbourne uni uniform. I think I also spotted Ashton Ford. So the time range here from about five minutes upwards. And as you said, we will see a bit of diversity in our first heat. You can see Davenport sitting about that 10th position in the Mornington Pinchley uniform. Just ahead of him is Miven. So Mansour in the Melbourne Uni uniform sitting out nicely. Samuel Gibson, I think, is leading the way at the moment in the Mentone uniform. So it's a fairly solid pace. You can see they're quite well bunched for the moment. Few gaps forming at the rear of the field, but that's to be expected. So a broad level of abilities in the first of our 15s, but it's great to encourage that, and we do what it's all about participation as well here at Milers Club, as we're seeing at these fantastic numbers we're getting. So 593 entries and 538 performances that meet to just over 500 entries, and we'll probably get about 440 or 450 performances here at meet number three. So Gibson up there. Also Ashton Ford, Francesco Carasala also in the mix at the moment. Ian Dent just going past. So Taj Fox. So through the 800 now. So 700 out. So just approaching the three minute mark now. So five minutes is about 80 second laps. And I think they're sitting just ahead of that schedule at the moment. We'll get a good fix as they go through the 1K mark, which will be top of the home straight the next time round. They'll get their 1K split approximately. So they're sitting, sitting just over the five minute mark by my calculations, going through the 1K, about 3.25 thereabouts, maybe a shade under. So we're seeing a few moves from the young men. Gibson still controlling the pace nicely. Francesco Carasella just making a little bit of move at the moment. And on the outside there, that's Charlie Morton. On the inside, we've got Ollie Burt. He's looking good in the blue. And we're seeing... Niven starting to go to the outside as well. Mansour also up there. Ashton Ford. Gap then to Davenport. Lenny Gray just going through. And then Dent. Then we have Taj Fox. And let's get behind Gibson. Gibson Senior. And that's Vernon. He's coming through 551. So we're going to try and get him well and truly under that mark. And I think we will. So out front it is Gibson Junior. And I think that is Francesco Carasella. There's two of the Carasellas. Patrick also in the mix. They've got similar seed times. So stride for stride coming round. Gee, they've picked up the pace. And Carasella's the one who's made that first move at the water jump. But Gibson doesn't want to give it away. Carasella surges again. Gibson also surges. Now he'll have to go to the outside as Carasella takes the inside reins. So we're looking at, gee, 440 something. They're going to be well and truly under the five minutes. They've come home very strongly here. And I think it will be, oh, I'm not going to call it. Gibson possibly to the outside. 
Now we have Patrick Carousella. He'll be next one through. Well under five and Mansoor as well. Good run from Ollie Burt. Miven also under the five-minute mark. Early leader there, Charlie Morton. He's going to be about 5.04 thereabouts, right on his PB. Also now coming through, Ashton Ford. 5.13 was his PB and he's broken that. So Davenport also through. Had a 5.12, so don't think he was quite there today. So Taj Fox next in. He was a 5.15 man, so... Last one on the track. He's got a seed time of 5.51. Let's get behind Vernon Gibson because he's going to well and truly smash that. So well done. The Mentone crowd going crazy here. So a very popular figure in the club. And Vernon Gibson stops the clock around 5.42.43. The next event on the track will be the men's M1500 metres. And we have 11 starters. Harry Maddox from Doncaster. Richard Mullaney backing up after the 800. He's in station two. Matthew Mullaley is in three. From Glen Huntley, Jasper McKenna in four. Alan Coleman from Old Zavarius is in six. Ned Skinner from Sandringham in eight. Greg Watson from Mentone in nine. Rodri Whelan from Diamond Valley in 11. Glenn Huntley's William Shorts in 12. Dexter Hill from Albury is in 13. And from Richmond Harriers, it is Elliot Wilcox in 14. They're our starters in the men's M, 1,500 metres. start. I can see the Albury uniform up there early. And that's Dexter Hill. Also Coleman from Old Zavarians. Mentone runner Greg Watson just sitting mid-pack at the moment as they start to settle. From Diamond Valley, Roger Whelan just sitting at the rear of the field as they get moving. And it looks like Christian's pacing once again. So good to see him setting pace here. I'm not sure, exactly sure what they'll be aiming at. Seed times are around that 4.50, uh, sorry, 4.49 looks like it's the quickest, through to about 4.56 thereabouts. So fairly tightly bunched based on the seed times. So Christian's doing a great job. We saw him perfectly pace those 800s earlier. So Matthew Mullaly's up there, taking the pace with him, but they're all in it still at the moment. This is a very well-judged race. So I'd expect them to be through. Actually, they're through. Well, yeah, let's have a look. I'd expect about the 76 mark and virtually bang on. So about 75 for the first lap. So Christian's got them through about where they want to be. So Mullaly's sitting in the middle of right at the rear of that lead bunch. Dexter Hill just getting thrown out a little bit there. Mullaly's still looking good. He's in the black. And now we see Dexter Hill just moving his way forward. The, back, the bunch is back up to get together again. There's Elliot Wilcox from Richmond. He's the one who led them through, and that included the young man from Diamond Valley, which is Rodri Whelan. So really nicely bunched still. Pacing is spot on. As we said, they're looking right under that 450 mark at the moment. So Dexter Hill, he's the one who's just having a bit of a chat to our pacemaker, saying, come on, pick it up, pick it up. And Christian's saying, no, you take it now. Greg Watson's having a bit of a chuckle as he sits back there in third position. Mullaly just off the back of him. From Glen Huntley, I think that's McKinna in next position. There are two in the Glen Huntley uniform. I'll try and separate them. 
Seeing a few little gaps form now. So Christian's just easing off to the side. He's done his job there for 200, oh, sorry, for two laps and 800 metres. Pace went off a little bit on that lap. So now we're going to see the racing really start. So Dexter Hill, 4.49. He's one of the top seeds, so we'd expect him out the front. Mullaly, he's a, got a 4.50 seed time. So Greg Watson looking very comfortable. As we said, we saw Richard Mullaney. He's got a 4.50.5 to his name. Saw him run the 800, and he's looking very comfortable once again in this 1,500 metres in the M race. So Hill just having a bit of a look around. Let's concentrate on what's in front and not what's behind for the moment. So Dexter Hill leading it. No real change at the moment, though. So Hill, they're going to get the bell. So 3.28 through the bell. McKinnon next. Then we've got Maddox. Wilcox coming through. Bit of a gap then to Coleman. Then also William Short and the young Sandringham runner there in Ned Skinner. But still not a lot separating this field as we see Matthew Mullaly. He's the one who's taken, made the move. And Mullaney has gone after him. So it's Mullaly and Mullaney. Two good Irish names out front. Watson now making the move past Hill as well. And we're seeing a good run from Elliot Wilcox from Richmond Harriers. He's trying to drag McKinna through with him and also Harry Maddox from Doncaster. But out front it is Mullaley. Mullaney's chasing him though. This is a good double from Richard Mullaney. We saw him run a pretty sharp 800. Now he's doubling up and really throwing down the challenge as he goes alongside Matthew Mullaley. They've both got 450s to their name and the race is on. Mullaley's deciding he's going to have another go at this. It's going to be hammer and tongs down this home straight. But I think Mullaley's just going to have the legs. The 800's probably hurting Mullaney a little bit. But Mullaley takes it, 440, good running there. Watson, 442, Wilcox, big run from him. He'll be 445, then Hill, Maddox, then McKenna, then Whelan. Good run there from Short and Coleman, 453, and 455 rounding out the field there. And that was Skinner right on his PB time. So good running there in the men's M, 1500. So don't forget, keep checking the results on Results Hub. They'll be fielding through very, very quickly. Next event, first of our women's 1500s, it is the women's E, and we have 13 starters. Sarnath Jaya Singh from Essendon is in station one. Kate Seibold, Mornings Peninsula, two. Leslie Edwards from Mentone is in three. Katrina Winger from Yarra Rangers in four. Ruby Alice from Athletics Essendon is in five. Isla Miven is in six. Katie Ward takes station seven from the Collingwood Harriers. Station nine is Ceci Clissold from Sandringham. Station 10 from Bendigo Harriers, Tully Lang. Station 11 from Bendigo Uni, Ebony Woodward. Tully Watt from, is uh, in station 12. Nevo Riley from Waverley in 13. And from Box Hill, Millicent Fraser is in 14. They're the starters in the women's E, 1500 metres. Underway, it looks like a Box Hill uniform getting out there early, and I think that's Millicent Fraser. She's a 5.23 runner, one of the top seeds. Following her, that could well be an Essendon uniform, perhaps, and that might be Ruby Alice. So away nicely, good pace early. There will be quite a spread here because uh, it is... 
first of our women's heats. So the seeds range from about 5.20 through to over six minutes. But early going and the pace is quite nice as they start to really settle. But I think it's Millicent Fraser leading the way. We'll just confirm that as they come through the first time. So we have Millicent Fraser, Sana Jaya Singer, also Tully Watt, Ruby Alice in the mix at the moment. In fact, there's a lot in the mix at the moment, probably seven or eight. A little bit of uh, bodies coming together as they go around the bend, the pace coming off a little bit. So around 80 seconds, just over 80 seconds for the first lap. So that's just over five minute pace, just. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a sub five here if the girls can just keep working together. And Sana, Jaya Singer from Athletics Essendon. She's got a 5.30 seed time. So a few in the 5.20s in this race and that's that bunch that we've got sitting out front at the moment. So it looks like Cybol's decided she wants a piece of the action out front. So Jaya singing, sitting to the inside. So all the figure of Alice just sort of drifting back into the pack a little bit as they come through. So Katie Ward just sitting to the back of the pack at the moment. Fraser just starting to drift back in. We've also got... Katrina Winger from Yarra Rangers starting to make her move around the outsides. Ceci Clissold from Sandringham just sitting in a beautiful position there in third spot. As we see O'Reilly, also Woodward. And I think that was Niven coming through. And then Leslie Edwards from Mentone. But out front, Seibold, Jaya Singer and also Clissold. Alice deciding she wants to move back and she's taken Katrina Winger from Yarra Rangers with her. So Alice is one of the top seeds here. So sitting in good position there in fourth. Jaya Singer still moving nicely. Consult just to the back of her. Winger's the one who's probably got a little bit of momentum going at the moment as we see a few gaps starting to form. And Katie Ward in that next spot. She's now drifted to maybe eight to ten metres back off the lead group of five. But Seibold will lead them in to the home straight to get the bell. Clissold going along nicely, drawing alongside Jaya Singer. So the young girl from Sandringham. Alice in good position there. Ward starting to work really nicely. And with her, she's got the Bell uh, Bendigo Harriers uniform. And that is Tully Lang. So Tully Watt coming through now. Also our early leader there, Millicent Fraser. Neve O'Reilly. And also from the Bendigo Uni uniform, that's Ebony Woodward. Isla Miffin coming through to get the bell. And let's get behind Leslie Edwards from Mentone. But out front, Seibold, Clissold, Jaya Singer, Winger. Bit of a gap then to Alice. Another gap back. But out front, the race is on. It looks like Clissold's the one who's making the big move. Winger's starting to get a little bit of momentum and goes alongside Jaya Singer. So Seibold's fighting hard to keep that inside position and keep the opposition out. But Winger's the one who's still got a little bit of momentum. Goes to the outside, so it's going to be a big race into the home straight here. Clissold puts the foot down, so the young legs there of Clissold. Winger going with her, Jaya Singer also coming over the top. But gee, Sissy Clissold, big run, smart run from her. And a 5.09, just under the 5.10. Winger takes next, Jaya Singer, Seibold, Alice. Then we have Lang. Lang just ahead of Alice on the line, under the 5.20 mark. So a lot of girls getting PBs here tonight in that race. So some impressive running, but Sissy Clissold takes it. Ward through. Also Watts 
Millicent Fraser. Nevo Riley will be next one through. Comes in with a 5.43 seed time. She's under that. Also, Ebony Woodward and Isla Mithen. And we've got Leslie Edwards. She's got a 6.15 time to her name. So let's try and get her around that six-minute mark. So Leslie Edwards from Mentone. Big Mentone contingent here tonight. Right on the six-minute mark for her. Back to the action in the men's, and it is the men's L 1500 metres. We have a field of 15 starters. Jas Jasper Bignall from Williamstown is in station one. From Mornington, Ollie Mayhew Sharp in two. From Albury Brake, Morgan in three. From Mentone, Oliver Scott in four. Cameron Marshall, Old Severians, station five. From Collingwood Harriers, Jake Hopkinson in six. In eight, from Glenn Huntley, Jack Lana, Jimmy Goulis from Melbourne Uni in nine. Oscar Luke from Collingwood Harriers in ten. From Box Hill, Henry Kerr Lewis in eleven. Daniel Villados in twelve. In, in fourteen, Sajan Diol from Box Hill. Hamish McLean from Collingwood Harriers in fifteen. Daniel Ball from Glen Huntley in sixteen. And Jay Coxon rounds out the field in station seventeen. There are starters in the men's L fifteen hundred. Very willing start here. A few of the youngsters want to get out to the front. And as they settle, it looks like a Collingwood Harriers uniform. Also the Albury uniform up there. That's Blake Morgan. A couple of Collingwood boys in here. So we'll wait and I think that might be Oscar Luke. He's gone fairly early. And Christian is pacing again. So he's made his way to the front and he'll settle them down and say, guys, just follow me. That's the way to go. So Christian will set the pace, not really aware what the pace strategy is, but this field are uh, running around the 4.35 through to 4.45 mark. So about 10 seconds separating this field. So I'd expect them to be going through about 74, 75 perhaps. Maybe even a little bit quicker. I wouldn't be surprised by 72 as Jimmy Goulas just goes to the outside. As they're settling nicely at the moment. So as I said, we'd be looking at maybe about the 72, 73 mark. So it's 70 now, 71. So that's a good opening lap there for these young men. Setting them up for around the 4.30 to 4.35 mark. So the Albury runner there. That is... Blake Morgan, he's got a 439 to his name, so he's a sub 440. Gee, there's a real rough. Cameron Marshall's looking good too. He's just made a really nice move to get into the action. Now one of the youngsters decides he's going to try and challenge it. No, actually, he's just doing a warm-up stride. All right, so the box hill runner there. Trying to identify those as they come through. Cameron Marshall looking good. Henry Kerr-Lewis, he's the Box Hill man I was trying to identify. So, pacemaker's gone. Just gone to the outside now. The race is now on. The Mentone runner looking good. I think that's Oliver Scott. So he's positioned nicely. Jack Hopkinson also up there. So nice solid running out front. Gee, still a pack of eight out front. Little, few little gaps are starting to form though. 
But nice pack of eight. Cameron Marshall in the old Zavarian's uniform being one of those. So Hamish McLean, he's looking strong. He's in the Collingwood uniform and going to the outside and taking the lead. So it's McLean, Marshall. Morgan to the inside. He's been up all the way. Kerr Lewis. Jimmy Goulis, what a run from him. Then Villardo. Then we have Daniel Ball, Jay Coxon in the next position. Coming through now, Jesper Bignall. Also, we have Jack Hopkinson and Ollie Mayhew Sharp. Then the young Collingwood man there. That is Oscar Luke and Adiol. But out front, McLean, Kerr Lewis, Goulis. A few of the older guys now just showing what they've got here. Cameron Marshall working on nicely with Blake Morgan. Gap then back to the Mentone runner. And that's Oliver Scott with him. Here's the Glenn Huntley runner. I think that's Daniel Ball. Apologies, yeah, it's Jack Lana, I think. They're coming through into the home straight. Hamish McLean from Collingwood Harriers. He's a 440 runner. I think he's going to be well and truly under that. Let's get a few of the boys under the 440. Jimmy Goulis, once again impressive. Gee, they're starting to motor home, the whole lot of them. Look at them go. So McLean will take it. Kerr Lewis, she's going to be the, just the wrong side of 430. Hamish is happy with that. Kerr Lewis, big run from him. Morgan was up there all the way. Velado comes over the top of a few of the youngsters, including Ball. Cameron Marshall, big run from him. Jay Coxon coming through now. Big finish here, Jack Cops, Hopkinson. He's got a 4.43, so a bit slower tonight. On the inside there, that was Jasper Bignall. Also, Ollie Mayhew Sharp. And then we have Oscar Luke and Sajan Diol. Next up, men's K, 1,500 metres, and we have 14 starters. Alejandro Fisher in one. Travis Haber, Melbourne Uni in two. Lachlan Fulton, Mentone, he is in three. From Glen Huntley, Liam Michelle in four. Oliver Valentine is in five. From Athletics Essendon, Aidan Davis is in seven. Freddie Barrett, Judd Sandringham in eight. From Mentone, Matthew Berg in nine. Western Athletics, Aidan Musket in ten. From Athletics Waverley, Dave Venner in 11. Carl Schapp from Western Athletics in 12. From Mentone, Alex Pisa Di Chiero in 13. In 16, Sebastian Rossi. And in 17, Andrew Lego from Mentone. There are our starters in the men's K1500. A nice start there, Glenn Huntley uniform, Liam Michelle off to a very flying start, which is good to see to the inside. Looks like an Essendon strip next, and then Lego from Mentone goes to the outside and takes the lead. So Andrew Lego looking good. Looks like Christian might be in there and he's just starting to make his way forward. So we'll start to test him a little bit because these guys are relatively sharp. So they're around the, geez, not much between them. They're all around the 4.30 mark. Probably five seconds separates this field based on seed times. So they'll be sitting on probably 68, 69 second laps. And my apologies, we do have a new pacemaker coming in. And it's Charlie Chandler from Eureka. So Charlie doing a beautiful job just easing alongside Lego. Good to see Venner up there as well. One of the older runners in the pack. So 
Quite a few moves. They're through at about 69, so probably what I thought they'd be doing. So they're sitting on those low 420s or around the 420 pace at the moment. So Lego, it's got Charlie Chandler just to the outside of him, the pacemaker. Western Athletics, we've got Carl Schapp also up there. Pacemaker now doing his job. Lee Michelle also looking good. Just sitting to the outside. I think that's of Shap at the moment. A couple of the Mentone runners now starting to make their presence felt as well. Alex Pisa to Chiero. Also Lachlan Fulton are up there. Matthew Bergen as well. Quite a mix of the Mentone. I think about four Mentone runners in this one. So Charlie Chandler looking good. Shap, Michelle. Alejandro Fisher looking good. Also Oliver Va uh, Valentine, two of our unattached runners. And Sebastian Rossi currently taking up the rear of the field with Melbourne University's Travis Haber just, to the, just in front of him. So Musket also in that back few at the moment. The Sandringham runner there, that's Ferret, Ferretti Barrett-Judd. But out front, a little bit of a change. I think this is either Valentine or Fisher. One of the two. We'll try and pick them up as they come around. So Lego now sitting in third position. I think it's Fisher and Valentine out front now. Michelle just sort of coming to, to grief there. A few of the Mentone boys as they come around. Starting to run out of legs. They're coming through now, Alejandro Fisher, 4.32, and Oliver Valentine, a 4.31. Two of our top seeds. They'll separate them as they come through. And it is one and five, and it is Valentine who makes the big move. Lego still sitting there. So Valentine, Fisher, Lego, and then he's going to be swapped by some of the younger Mentone runners here. So I'm not aware of the uniform these two are wearing, but it is the same, and it looks like they're teammates here. So Oliver Valentine made the big move at the bell, but Alejandro Fisher did not panic. And what we're seeing here is the two coming together again, and now the Mentone charge. Haven't got a fix on all the Mentone boys, but let's get them as they come into the home straight. But it is Valentine leading from Fisher, but Fisher's really reeled in that gap. Did Valentine go too early? Fisher's just winding it up. And now the Mentone boys are starting to work together, coming into the home straight. So Fisher to the outside, Valentine to the inside, and Fisher takes lead. Valentine charges again. And now we're seeing the Mentone charge as well. But Fisher looks like he's the one who's going to take this. Time check about the 4.22 mark. Then Valentine. Then we've got Fulton. Next one through is Pisa de Chiero, then Schapp, then we've got Bergen, good run by Lego, Aiden Davis through, then Barrett Judd, Michelle, also Haber, Musket, and rounding out the field is Sebastian Rossi. So some great running there, a good win, Alejandro Fisher takes it out with a new personal best. So just another reminder on here, our great sponsors. You'll see them at the remaining Milers Clubs meets. So please support our sponsors. So go and visit them over at the tent, Lockie Aspinall. Representing St Stephen's here, but he's uh, on duty for on tonight. Also Luke Bell here as well. So go and visit our friends from on, see what they've got to offer. As we move now to the men's J 1500 metres, we have got 14 starters. Josh Lewin from St Kevin's is in station one. Jackson Lynch Deacon in two. Jacob Timms from Doncaster in three. From Melbourne Uni, Cameron Lee is in five. Edward Gibson from Mentone in six. Antonio Russo, Glenn Huntley is in seven. From Old Scotch, Thomas Lindemann in eight. 
Jerry Stamoulis is in nine from Essen and Sam Meehan in ten. Tobias Lawrence in eleven. Liam Stocky from Old Severians in twelve. From Glenn Huntley, George Fowler, thirteen. Bailey Sharp, Western A's, fourteen. And Thomas Scott from Mentone is in fifteen. They're our starters in the men's J1500 metres. So nice even start. Let's see if we can spot the pacer. Charles Chandler, I think, is up there again. So this is the men's J. We're looking at seed times around the 427 through to 430. It's really bunched this one. As we see them settling in nicely. And Chandler doing the job out front once again. Lewin saw him run the 800, doubling up into this 1500 as well. So our mission here, let's try and get as many under that 4.30 mark as possible. So quite a mix of youngsters and a couple of the older, wiser runners. And one of those, Antonio Russo, currently just sitting at the back of the field, biding his time. And it's actually Christian pacing again. So Russo at the back there with uh, Jackson Lynch from Deakin. Very tightly bunched, as we would expect, as I said, the... Mix of times, not much at all. Liam Stocky, one of the runners up there at the moment. So 69, 70, 71 thereabouts. So this is exactly where we'd expect them. So perfect pacing, pacing there from Christian Knox out front as Bailey Sharp decides he wants to get a little bit of the piece of the action. So Thomas Lindemann, I think he's doubling up after the 800s as well. Josh Lewin certainly doing that. So a few of the younger guys doing their double dip here tonight at Milers Club. As we see, Christian's out now. He's taken him for 500 metres, and now Bailey Sharp leads the way in the Western Athletics uniform. So Liam Stocky also up there. From Athletics S, that's Sam Meehan, also in the mix. But, gee, they're still tightly bunched here, and a lot can happen. We'll have two laps to go as they come through now. And Sharp leading it, setting a very, very solid pace. Me into the outside. On the inside there, hadn't called him yet, but that's George Fowler in the Glen Huntley uniform, and he's looking strong. Thomas Scott from Mentone, just tailing a little bit, but still in contact. You see Russo just getting on the back there of that lead bunch. So, but so Bailey Sharp still leads it. A little bit of a move coming. There's a few moves coming now. So they start to really settle them down. They'll be coming through the one kilometre mark shortly. So they're going to be just under or right on that three minute mark as they come through the 1K. So sitting on 4.30 pace, I think we're going to see quite a few of these young men under that 4.30 and maybe some of the not so young as well as Bailey Sharp leads the way. Sitting to the outside of him and making a good move there. That is Tobias Lawrence. Also up there is Cameron Lee from Melbourne Uni. So Bailey Sharp has given up the lead. So Tobias Lawrence, got a seat time of 
He's going to get a few of these boys under that as we're seeing some good moves, including the Deacon runner there and Jackson Lynch starting to make his move as well, coming alongside Bailey Sharp. Cameron Lee moving on nicely. Russo sitting into the next position just ahead of his Glenn Huntley teammate. But out front, Tobias Lawrence. He's leading the way. So let's get behind them into this home straight. Try and get as many sub 430s as we possibly can here. Not many have broken it, but let's get a few more under. So 4, 10 right now. We're going to get a whole pile of them under the 430, which is going to be good to see. But Tobias Lawrence looking the goods here. Great run here from Jackson Lynch. He's come through nicely, but Lawrence will take it. Unofficially 4.23. Also up there, uh, Jerry Samoulis. Good finish there from Fowler. Nice run from Russo. Bailey Sharp did a lot of the work. Lee coming through now. Josh Lewin doubled beautifully. So too Linderman. Stocky coming through. Also, that's Thomas Scott. And rounding out was Jacob Timms from Doncaster. Twelve starters plus a pacemaker. It is the women's A fifteen hundred meters. Let's introduce your field. In station one, we welcome from Tasmania Ella Atkins. Station two, representing Athletics Essendon, Matisse Lazari. In four, from St Kevin's, Cleo Richardson. Station five, from the Eureka Athletic Club, Daisy Sudholtz. Station six, we welcome from South Australia, Jessica McManus. Station seven, from Albury Athletic Club, it's Hayley Whitshead. Station eight, we've seen her on many occasions making the trip to Milers Club. We welcome her back again from New South Wales, Jayla Hancock Cameron. Station six, sorry, station nine, we saw a big performance from this young lady at the last Milers Club. Representing Williamstown, it is Piper Gay. Station 10, from Western Athletics, Janae McCrell. In 11, also from Tasmania, Violet Owen. Station 12, from Box Hill, Sophie Hall. Station 13, also Box Hill, Georgia Hansen, our national cross-country champion, and our pacer, the very one and only, Abby Caldwell. That's our field in the women's A, 1,500 metres. So Caldwell got them settled nicely. Cameron's come here. She's looking for a sub 410. Let's just see what that produces. Hanson sitting in beautifully. Hall also going nicely. Then Gay Sudholz. Then we have Violet Owen. The other Tasmania, Ella Atkins in next slot. McRae just sitting at the rear of the field at the moment. Richardson also there. So going through now... So about a 65, 66, so certainly on pace, and it is now a race in two plus the pacemaker. So Caldwell, Hancock Cameron, Hanson, all three of those at the World Cross Country Trials, and Abby Caldwell booking her way to Bathurst with a sensational win in that 2,000-metre event. 
Hancock Cameron waiting for, to see who gets selected for that one. But this is her specialty. She's a 1,500 metre runner, and it's always good to see Jayla down here. Georgia Hansen sitting off the back. She ran that 10K trial. Quality performer, the Australian cross country champ, but she also transitions beautifully to the track. Georgia Hansen, many tools in her kit bag. But Abby Caldwell, what a star, doing such a good job. Hancock Cameron looking smooth, so too Hansen. Gap then to Hall and Gay, the two youngsters. Whitshead starting to come through, and Lazari. Also up there, Jessica McManus. Little bit of a gap back to McCrell. So as they come through now, it's 2.11, 2.12. So sitting still nicely on pace. We want to see something around that sub 4.10, if possible. So not sure how far Caldwell's going. She's got them to eight, approaching the 900 metres, heading towards that 1,000. So now we're seeing Hall on her round as gap, the gap starts to form to Gay. Brave early. Now Whitshead's starting to make the charge and taking lots of the girls with her. A nice pack of about six behind. But up front all Caldwell, Hancock, Cameron and also Hanson. So through the 1K, they're on 4.24 through the K thereabouts. Sorry, two, uh, 2.49 through the K. And it is Caldwell. Still leading the way. She's taking them through a long way. A little bit of a gap forming between Hancock, Cameron and Hanson. She's got to get back in touch. So one lap to go. They're through at about 3.05, setting it up nicely here. It's up to Hancock, Cameron to really deliver on this last lap. Gap now forming to Hanson. Hall now on her own. Richardson starting to move through with Whitsett and also Lazari. Also up there, Atkins. So out front now, it is all Jayla Hancock, Cameron. Hanson still battling on really well. Gap then to Hall. Let's try and look at the clock as they go through. 200 metres to go right now on 3.37. So let's get behind the two out front and the rest of the field is Jayla Hancock, Cameron. It's all up to her now. She's on her own. The long white socks just moving beautifully around the Box Hill track here. 1.20 to go. Hancock Cameron, come on, home straight crowd. Let's get behind her. She's come down from New South Wales for a time. 3.57 now. Probably not right on the 4.10. Not going to be far off it, though. Let's get behind the New South Wales lady. She's a great performer. Jayla Hancock Cameron, welcome back to Box Hill. Right on the 4.10, Mark. 4.10, right on 4.11. Quality performance also from Hanson. Around the 4.15, Mark. So great running, but now it's on with the juniors. Hall versus Richardson. Richardson just in front. Hall coming through well under the 4.30 mark. Then we'll have Atkins, Lazari, Whitsett, big run from her. Then it was Owen. Also McManus, big run. Sudholz coming through. McCrell and Gay in that order. So Jayla Hancock, Cameron. Quality performance here again at Box Hill. Also Hanson.
introduce to the field now, the men's A1500 metres. We have a full field of 16, much anticipated race. And the field is, in station one, we welcome from New South Wales, Joshua Johnson. In two, from the ACT, Callum Burns. Archie Noakes from Essendon's in three. From Knox, Will Collins is in four. From New South Wales, Luke Young in five. Adam Pike is in six. Harrison Boyd from Bendigo Harriers in seven. Ed Baisha from Old Scotch in eight. Cameron Myers from the ACT in nine. From St Kevin's, Bad Mathis is in 10. From New South Wales, Connor Whiteley is in 11. Adam Goddard, South Australia in 12. Jack Lunn from St Kevin's in 13. Jared Clifford, Diamond Valley, 14. From WA, it's Luke Burrows in 15. And Matthew Clark from South Australia is in Station 16. So Hancock Cameron and also Hanson proved it can be done tonight. The times are on. The pace is on. Let's see who our pacemaker is going to be. And I think that's Jeffrey Risley gets out to the front. Alex Gruen also up there. Jared Clifford, he's leading the race as they start to settle. So it's Risley and Gruen, our pacemakers. Clifford. Got clear space, he'll love this, he's on the rails. No trouble there for Jared as the sun starts to set here at Hagenauer Reserve in Box Hill. As we see, our 1,500 metre field. Let's see if we can get around that 340 mark. That record was set, 340.00 is the Milers Club record. It was set at meet number one in 2005. We're now up to meet number 80-something. We want to see that 340 go. Clark is up there, Lund's up there. Math is sitting in the middle. Noakes also there. Great run from Archie at the World Cross Trials as well. As, gee, the pace goes down. I reckon they thought they might have gone a bit slow because they picked it up beautifully. Clifford responded. Lund sitting beautifully there right alongside or just behind Maddie Clark. So good to see such a mix of the interstaters. And look at that long line. And some are starting to struggle at the rear end because that pace just went bang. So Risley decides to really get it going. Gruen's just in his slipstream. Then we've got Clifford, Clark. Mathis looking good in the middle. Lunn looking superb as well. As we see Myers coming through nicely. Also up there, Luke Burrows from WA. So the cream of the crop are getting up there at the moment. Pike just sitting behind Burrows. Myers is starting to make his move. Risley's out. Great pacing, Jeff, and thanks for that. Now it's Alex Gruen just trying to keep the pace going. So up front, it's Gruen, Clifford, Myers, Clark, Burrows. Gap then to Pike. Lunn is gone. I think Lunn will be out. Mathis in next position. So Gruen steps off. Myers takes it, the mile champion. He's got Clarky with him. We're coming through to get the bell. So they're going to be just over that 240 mark. Let's see if we can challenge that 340, guys. Clifford's still in there. So too is Burrows. Then Pike. Also up there is Whiteley. Gap then to Noakes and also Burns. Baisha going with them. But out front, Cameron Myers leads the way. So Myers is starting to take off on them. He's got a kick. Can we see the sub 340? We've never seen it at Milers Club. We're going to need the crowd behind them. Can he kick down? I think they can get very, very close. Big run from uh, Clifford as well. He's just off the back of Clark. But Cameron Myers, all class, comes around. He's getting a gap out to five metres, six metres. Clifford's still hanging in there with Clarky. Gap to Burrows and here comes Mathis. But let's get behind Cameron Myers. This kid is an absolute superstar. Time check, 3.32. Are we going to see the sub 3.40? A new Milers Club record. We're going to see it. Cameron Myers, he's right on it. Let's wait for time. Clarky up there, 42. Then Mathis. Noakes is through in 45. Burrows. Baisha. Collins. Burns through. Whiteley. Also Young. 
Just through now, Goddard, Pike, Lunn, Josh Johnson and Boyd will round it out. The wait for the official time on that one. We'll be checking results hub. The Miles Club record goes back to meet number one in 2005 at 340.00, set by Louis Rowan. We'll be waiting nervously for this one. So, great running there. So next event on the track, we'll just wait times on that one. The next event on the track, we've got to keep the program moving. It is the men's I-1500. Timothy Briggs from Essendon in one. From Glen Huntley, James Gibbs in two. Kate Hutchison in three. Lachlan Higgs in four. Nicholas Blackney in five. From Glen Huntley, Dane Gray in six. William Pereira is in seven. Jesse Lumby from Essendon in nine. Terry Sacharides from... Glenn Huntley in 10, Dylan Gillespie, TXR in 11, Jordan Michelle from Melbourne Uni in 12, Adam McLeod Mansfield in 14, Liam Delaney from Mansfield in 15, and Edward Gibson from Mentone in 16. So the Miles Club record stays for another meet 340.60 winning time in that event. So off we go, the men's I, 1500 metres. This is about a 4.20 race. So I'll be seeing probably split times around the 66, 67 as they go through. So two paces, Charlie Chandler on the inside. Christian Knox on the outside. Good to have a cheer squad or two on the outer ranks here as well. 11 and 12, so Dylan Gillespie looking good. Also Jordan Michelle from Melbourne Uni. So nicely bunched, not a lot between this lot, probably about four or five seconds splitting the field on the, based on the seed times. Two pacemakers out there, and they go through the first lap in 68, so right on target. Christian just easing back, he's done his job. As the pace just starts to really get down now, and we see that separation in the field. So Jesse Lumby sitting midfield at the moment. So out front, Dylan Gillespie just sitting off the back of Charles Chandler, our pacer. So we've got the Glenn Huntley colours there and Dane Gray also up there. So Timothy Briggs also in those Essendon colours sitting midfield at the moment. But Chandler... Just getting the rhythm nicely here. You can see they're stretching beautifully. Gillespie not too far behind. And also from Melbourne University, and Jordan Michelle is a 420 runner. So two of our top seeds. But Dylan Gillespie looking strong here. Jesse Lumby up there. And also Adam McLeod in the Mansfield strip. From Diamond Valley. Spot that one as they go around. Liam Delaney sitting towards the rear of the field at the moment. And they're going through 217, 218. And the pacemaker's done his job. So Dylan Gillespie sitting nicely there on the sub 420 schedule. Bit of a gap back then to Michelle from Melbourne University. Lumby tucked in nicely there. Also up there, James Gibbs. They're really settling into this pace here, but gee, Dylan Gillespie, 
representing the TXR Runners, which is one of our recreational running clubs based in the southeast suburbs. And I think a few of the athletic clubs might be starting to put their eye on this young man because Gillespie is just showing some very good form over the 1500. And boy, he's got the build for it as well. So Dylan Gillespie is coming through. He'll be getting the bell just around that 310 mark, if not a shade under. Right on the 310 there for Gillespie. We've then got William Pereira up there. He's in the Diamond Valley uniform. He's going nicely. But out front, Dylan Gillespie still leading the way. He's through 1,200, 300 outs. So Gillespie got a big break at the moment. But they are starting to work together here. A few coming at him. So James Gibbs going well. But it was, it's Higgs now who's made the big move. So Gillespie's just got to maintain composure. It's been a good solid run. Let's get behind him in this last 100 metres. So Dylan Gillespie... 4.21 is his seed time. He's going to be well and truly under that. We're seeing some big finishes, but Gillespie takes it. Higgs will be next. Big run from Lumby. Also up there, William Pereira. Nice run, too, from Jordan Michelle. So a lot of big times being run here. And uh, everyone in under about that 4.26 mark. So some solid running there in the men's eye, 1,500. Let's go to event 29 out of 38. It's the men's H, 1,500 metres. And we have 13 starters. And they are Jed Sevenheisen from Mornington in three. Ben Butler is in four. Scott Benedict Boxhill in five. Damien Clark in six. James Pisa Di Chiero Mentone in seven. Jet Keeley Knox in eight. Seth Chan from Old Scotch in nine. Alexander Murray is in ten. Kane Hilkjima from... Glenn Huntley is in 12. Lewis Gillette is in 13. Luke Hunter from Yarra Rangers, 14. From Doncaster, Aidan Morasco in 15. And rounding out the field from Frankston, Justin Woolsey is in 16. Charles Chandler, Christian Knox leading the way, Seth Chan up there. Also James Pisa de Chiero, also running nicely, Justin Walsley. So nice tight bunch, top seed around the 417 mark. There's a few of those, Luke Hunter from Yarra Rangers, also Marasco from Doncaster. As we see our... Lead pacer just getting out a little bit too much. So Seth Chan in next position in the old Scotch colours. He's a 420 runner. So probably tracking along quite nicely, but we're seeing a few moves starting to come, and I think they're realising that the pacemaker's on, on time and they're not. So a little bit of a charge happening here. So Chan in the red. I think that's the Yarra Rangers runner there in Luke Hunter starting to make his move and get up into striking distance. A little bit of a bolter there, as we see Charles Chandler out by about five metres. 
try and pick up our leader as they come through. And they get two laps to go. So Chandler leading. And it is Alexandra Murray. He's in the next position. James Pizzacchiero with Hunter going through well in those next positions. We'll see just on the rails. Chan Morasco on the rails as well as we see the morning from one of their seven highs and just going out to the outside. So 2.16 at the 1,200. So Chandler's done his job. Sorry, make that the 800. And it is Alexander Murray. Got a 417. He is one of our top seeds in that 417 range. He's got a nice little break over Pisa Tichiero, the Mentone runner. Seeing a good move there too. I'll try and pick up who that is as they come around in fourth position. But that was a nice little move to get onto the back there of Hunter. So good, solid running out front. Alexander Murray. Don't know much about him. But we're seeing a good performance at the moment. No signs of cracking at this point as he comes down. And he will receive the bell first. So Murray's going to go through first. Looks like a Barrick XCT. Uh, and it is Damien Clark in next position. He's really winding it up. Benedict in next. The Box Hill uniform. But out front, there's going to be a challenge here. Alexander Murray done so well. But Damien Clark, he's a 420 or 420 seed time. Pisa, sorry, Pisa Di Chiero next slot. And then we're seeing another big move. I didn't spot this one coming. But into fourth position. Surprised that Clark hasn't made the move past yet, but he might be running out of legs. And had a lot of work to do to get on the back of Murray, who had the big break. So no change. This is impressive for Murray. He's just surged away again. I think he's going to take the win. So this is an eye-popping win. It's been a really solid performance. 4.17.50 is, is the personal best or the seed time. We're going to be well under that. So great running, Alexander Murray. He's going to take this one out. Very good performance. 4.11, 4.12. Next one up is going to be Lewis Gillette. Clark comes through. Nice run there from Jack Keeley. Morasco in as well as Sevenhuizen. Benedict coming through. Hilkema. Also Chan. And Ben Butler. Let's move on to event number 30. It is the women's D, 1500 metres, and we have 12 starters. Chelsea Saw from Melbourne University is in station one. Charlotte Gibbs from Glen Huntley, station two. From Old Zavarians, it's Georgia Pounding in three. Courtney Parker, Eureka, is in four. From Glen Huntley, Bridget Williams is in five. In seven, from Box Hill, Priya Diol. Audrey Savage from Athletics Essendon is in eight. Ruby Donaldson, Glen Huntley in nine. From Albury, Eden Hill in ten. Louisa Lazar from Sandringham, 11. From Glen Huntley, Poppy Donaldson in 13. And Meg Oakley Kerr from St Stephen's is in 14. There are starters in the women's D, 1500 metres. Off and racing now. Looks like Audrey Savage is getting off to a nice start there. Starting to set the pace. See the Eureka uniform of Courtney Parker also in the mix early. Let's say that is Bridget Williams and Glenn Huntley also. Unless it, no, it's one of the Donaldson twins, I think. Starting to get a little bit dark here once again at Box Hill. Makes our job a little bit harder. We'll try and do our best. Uh, Diol's now slipping into that second position. But I think it's, it's pretty sure that's Audrey Savage. We'll make sure of that as she comes through. 
getting out to a nice start. You can see Oakley Kerr sitting midfield there, just behind Donaldson. This Savage leading the way. Then Diol, Donaldson, Oakley Kerr. Lazar's on the rails at the moment. Poppy Donaldson sitting at the rear of the field for the moment. But out, so out front, still Audrey Savage. She's coming in for 508, sitting on a 76 as they go through the lap. So good start there for Audrey Savage, Athletics Essendon. Priya Diol in next position. Now the girls are starting to make their moves as they start to bridge those gaps. So that was a good move. I think that's Chelsea Saw who's just made her way through down the back straight. And up on to Diol and deciding just to sit there. Nope, goes past. So that's a good move. Had the momentum and took it. So Audrey Savage working her way forward by herself. She'll start to hear some footsteps because I think the gaps are starting to come together now. So a 508 runner. Not one of the top seeds is Audrey Savage. So let's see what happens when the field starts to come together a little bit more. But Savage still looking quite good. Chelsea saw in next position. There's Savage. Two to go. Saw. Then we have Bridget Williams, Diol, Oakley Kerr, Donaldson. A bit of pushing and shoving because they are really coming together in that group at the moment. So through the 1,200 now, Saw moving nicely, Savage still maintaining, so through the 800, Oakley Kerr in amongst that bunch, she's got Parker to the outside of her. Bridget Williams, is, she's the shorter figure, she's sitting in fifth at the moment. And now we're seeing Saw just getting on to the heels there of Savage. So this is the first time Audrey's had someone with her and Saw decides to go straight past her. They're hitting the one kilometre mark. They're going to go through the 1K in about 3.23. So Chelsea Saw leads it. And Audrey Savage. Meg Oakley Kerr in next position. Then Parker. Lazard to the outside of her. Then Williams. But Saw, Savage is still hanging on beautifully. Oakley Kerr wants to get up. Now coming through is Eden Hill. Then Donaldson, Diol, pounding. Next up, Charlotte Gibbs. And Poppy Donaldson, next position. Now we're seeing Oakley Kerr winding it up. Sort of sense this happening. She was looking so good in that bunch. And Meg Oakley Kerr, the St. Stephen's runner, really striding away from this at the moment. So she's got a five-minute seed time. I think that's a bit of a guesstimation rather than a true seed time. As we see, she's going to absolutely smash, smash that five-minute barrier. Looks like Savage has just got to dig deep here as she goes into that last 200 metres. But Meg Oakley Kerr leads the way. 150 out, drawing into the home straight now. So five minutes the seed time. She's going to be well under that. Chelsea Saw battling on beautifully there in second position. Now Parker from Eureka moves into third ahead of Savage. Then Williams and then Lazar. So let's get behind Meg Oakley Kerr. So she's going to be well under the five minute mark. So good run for the Youngs and Stevens runner. She'll take it in 55 thereabouts. Pushing forward to try and break that five minute mark. They'll be right on it. Parker and Saw. Williams just ahead of Savage, the early leader. Then Lazar. Hill comes through. Then Diol. Ruby Donaldson next. Georgia pounding, battling on beautifully here. She'll be in at about 5.14. And then Gibbs. And Poppy Donaldson. Final one here in the women's D 1500 metres.
Next up, it is the men's G1500 metres. We've got 15 starters. Cooper Proven from St Kevin's is in station one. From Albury, Clean Hill in two. Harrison Carr, Old Scott in three. Alan Vernal, Nana Wadding in four. From the VCCL, Ashley Cowan in five. From Melbourne University, Tane Lang is in station six. From the ACT, we welcome Oliver Vidaic in seven. Jai Farah from Mornington Peninsula in eight. In nine, Bendigo Harriers, Jackson Eden. Joel Davies from Mornington Peninsula in 10. Caleb Gilbert from Albury in 11. From Western A is Jackson Wright in Station 12. Station 13, we welcome from South Australia, James McManus. Angus Norman from Yarra Rangers is in 14. From Old Zavarians, Ben Hassler in 15. And he has made it to the start line in Station 16. From Nunawading, Josh Carlin. So a good start here. Looks like Chandler out the front pacing. I think Christian's also up there. This is going to get harder and harder as they come back down into the G's, the F's, the E's. As the pace goes up, Harrison Carr, the one going with the pace, splitting the pacemakers at the moment. Also the Melbourne University runner up there, Tane Lang. So this one's about a 4.14 through to 4.16 range. Two seconds separating the field on seed times. Let's see how that transpires this evening here. But the pace is certainly on, and Harrison right, Carl wants it. Right, on, so Lang on, also on. up there at the moment. Norman. Jackson Eden from Bendigo Harriers. Once again, great to see the Bendigo contingent back down here at Box Hill. Also a big welcome to the Gippsland contingent, primarily through Wellington, and also so many of our Geelong runners supporting, and the Ballarat crew from Eureka. Wendery. Not too many of the YCW ones here tonight, but we'll see them at Essendon for the mile champs. So cars really pushing forward here. I think that's Tane Lang going with them at the moment. So Harrison Cars a 414, one of the top seeds. Eden's got a 413, so we expect a bit from him. Also Angus Norman from Yarra Rangers should be in the mix as well. So Tane Lang's coming in with a 414. So very tight bunch. We see Chandler just going to the outside there. And we might see Charles sort of dropping out relatively soon. But he's just letting the guys get into the inside lane and work their way through. So they're coming through to get two laps to go. It's Carr, Lang, Eden moving up. Then we're seeing a big move from Caleb Gilbert, the runner from Albury. So still pretty tightly bunched. A lot can happen with this field because they're still moving really nicely. As we see them going through about 2.12 maybe, so 66s, keeping that nicely and the pacemaker's done his job. So it's Carr, Lang. Then we've got Gilbert, looking strong, then Eden. Not much change in that gap between Lang and also Gilbert at the moment, staying static around that 20 metres. So Carr now doing the work out front. Tane Lang's run a very smart race, just sitting in on the pace. It's Harrison Carr coming through now to get the bell. They're going to be around that three minute mark here. So just over the three, so I reckon we could get a four, five, four, six, four, seven. Let's see it behind these boys. Big run from Gilbert. Eden's got a bit of work to do. Then Flynn Hill coming through. Also, we're seeing Cowan from VCCL working nicely. Just coming through then is Vidaic from the ACT. And Jai Farris just rounding out the field at the moment. So there's been a bit of a change here. And look at the way Gilbert uh, is starting to really wind it up. So this is going to be a very interesting race. I wouldn't be surprised if we get close to the four minutes, actually. So I'll we'll probably just shy there. 3.34 through that uh, 600. But Jig Gilbert is just winding up and winding up. This is an impressive race. So look at those long legs. What's uh, Tane Lang got to give as Gilbert goes past him? Just sit behind him and go for it. 
But it is Caleb Gilbert comes in for 4.15 seed time. But this is super duper running in the 1500. Tane Lang's not giving up. Loving this. Push him forward. Let's go. Gilbert will get it just. 403. What a last lap that is. Harrison Carr did so much of the walk. 407. And McManus through next. He's happy with that. 413 for McManus. Lots of good times coming through here. As we see the day coming through next, Farah. And then it looks like well, Carlin will round out the field. But some great racing here. Gilbert, Tane Lang, Jesus, that was great. So low fours, big breakthroughs there for a few of the boys. This shows you the home of PBs is delivering once again tonight here at Box Hill. Men's F, 1500 metres, event number 32. There are 16 starters. Aidan Velton from Glen Huntley is in station one. Max Luke, Collingwood Harry is in two. Luca, Scholes, Robertson, Doncaster in three. Durham Diol from Box Hill in four. Andrew Carey from Williamstown is in five. In six, Alexander Gibson from Mentone. In seven, Jordan Mason from Eureka. Frankston's Peter Dutton lines up in station eight. Station 10, Kalan Luong from Box Hill. Also from Box Hill, Ross Thomas is in 11 and completing a Box Hill trifecta. We've got Michael Petridis in 12. St Kevin's Robert Hopkins lines up in station 13. Stephen LaCroix Snide from South Australia is in 14. From Collingwood Harriers, Guy Frick in 15. Finn Johnson is in 16. And from Diamond Valley, Michael Martello, station 17. There are starters for men's F, 1500 metres. Very swift start. Charles Chandler's making his way to the front right from the start and settling them down. I think Christian also back in here again. So these paces are doing an enormous job here tonight. So Chandler really striding out and getting them out to one steady line. This is a 408 through sorry, 407 through to about a 412 race. So about five seconds separating the field. Can we see a sub four? The way Chandler's going, he's setting it up. Martello's up there at the moment from Diamond Valley. And we've got another pacer in. That could be O'Connor from Doncaster. So a St Kevin's runner there. I'm trying to pick that. That could be Robert Hopkins. He's got a 4.12. So a few guys really pushing that pace out early at the moment. That's why they're strung out so beautifully. So one minute. Gee, they're on... Cool, crikey, they're on 3.45 pace. Wow, this is the F race. Has someone not told them that? So they're really pushing it out there. Let's see if there's any... No wonder they're stretched so much. That was such quick opening lap. And they are really pushing it. So let's see how they settle into this second lap. And let's see how many bears jump on how many backs on that last or that third lap which is where the question will be asked. So a few of the boys sitting in that midfield are probably thinking, I'm glad I wasn't part of the action up front because this will be interesting. So our pacer still leading the way. So Connor going through. And Martello, he's leading the way. Stephen LaCroix Snide from South Australia. He's a 407 runner. He's sitting in nicely. I think this and Kevin's runner there is Hopkins. He's a 412 runner. So really out there early here. And now we're seeing Martello really still pushing forward. They dropped a bit on that second lap. But that's not surprising because the open lap was so quick. So really strung out. So this will be survival of the fittest here or survival of the smartest. Because this early pace has been quite uh, full on. And 
now we're seeing the race really starting to take shape as they come through and they approach that one kilometre mark. So about 240 now, maybe 243, 244 at the K. Metallo still leads. Big run from him, 412 as the uh, PB. They're well and truly under that pace at the moment. Hopkins also up there. Now they're coming at him. Dutton's one of those. Diol also starting to make moves. Also Mason. Skulls Robertson in the mix and going wide as well. So a few of the boys starting to go wide on the bend, which is probably what they need to do to try and get that momentum as they hit the back straight the last time. So just trying to pick up our leader as they go through. Can't spot him in the darkness. But uh, it is Skulls Robertson's one of the big movers here in the Don uh, sorry in the yeah, the Doncaster uniform. And he's moving towards the Dutton's gone with him. Big run here from Peter Dutton over fifteen hundred. Not really known for his fifteens, but Skulls Robinson now leading the way. I think it was the one of our interstaters there, LaCroix Snide, might be still up there as well. As they come through, one hundred and twenty to go, less. So the race is on. One of the Glen Huntley runners, I think, also trying to get into the mix here. So the race is on here. Skulls Robertson going nicely. And it looks like he's going to take this. Gee, we're going to go right on the four-minute mark, but big runs here. Nice run there from the Mentone runner. So that was Gibson. Aidan Velton was the Glen Huntley runner. Nice run from him as well. But gee, all in here. And Frick, the last one to finish, but nice and tight finish. Some big performances. I think a few boys are going to be very happy with their times after that one. Martella certainly will put it out there, but Skulls Robertson, what a finish from him on that last lap to take victory in the men's F1500 metres. Men's E, 1500 metres, event number 33, and we have 15 starters. Station one, Cornelius Nietic, in two from Athletics Chilwell, Jacob Sprunt. Station three, we welcome from Tasmania, Isaac Bonzi. In four from Glen Huntley, Jeff, Jack Heinem. Matthew Sostarek from Athletics Essendon is in five. From Bendigo University, Angus McAfee is in seven. Representing Eureka, it is Joshua Johnson in eight. Charlie Kyberd, Mornington Peninsula, is in station nine. From Knox Athletic Club, it's Matthew Venner in ten. Jaden Padgham from Bendigo Uni takes station eleven. Liam Hanrahan from Athletics Chilwell in twelve. Jacob Gardner, another Tasmanian, he's lining up in station thirteen. Brandon Musket from Western Athletics in fourteen. From Box Hill, Joshua McLeod in fifteen. And Brett Alice from Williamstown, station sixteen. They're your starters in the men's E, 1,500 metres. They're racing and not pacing here. I can't see a pacer singlet in this one, but it's a very, very swift start as they start to settle. Kybird might be up there quite early. Pretty hard to spot them when the light's going down here, but let's wait till they come around the bend and we might start to make some sense out of this one. 
We're looking at seed times from between 4.02 to 4.05. So once again, this is a tightly bunched field and I would hope that we're going to see a sub four out of this pack. So let's see how they settle here. They are tightly bunched. This is what we want to see. So Kyburn leads it. Pageant also up there. Isaac Bonzi from Tasmania is making the trip over. Let's see if we can get a sub four for him. He's a 402 man. So nicely bunched. They're going through the lap in approximately 63. They're right just under that four minute schedule. So Padgham's sitting there in third position. Kyber's doing a great job setting this pace up. So I think Bonzi might have slipped into second position at the moment. Nice little spread across the track now. As we're seeing, they're not bunched, which means the pace is really starting to hurt a few. This is what we want to see, just that nice long line. Setting the pace, Charlie Kybird. 405 runner. He's one of the slower seeds. But are we seeing the man from the Mornington Peninsula Club setting the pace beautifully? So Bonsi sitting second. Oh, We're also see sorry, Bonsi in about fourth position. It is Jacob Gardner, the other Tasmanian. So getting my Tasmanians mixed up. Unfortunately, Sprunt is out. So 209. They are really setting the pace beautifully here. So sub 210. They've maybe drifted off the four minutes, but only slightly. A little bit of a buffer, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see a big last lap from a few of these young men. As we see a little bit of a change. Is that Heinem's taken the lead? I try and spot it. Could be a Glenn Huntley uniform, may not. So coming around now, they're still really bout punched, but we've got to see a few boys sharing the lead here if they want to push forward to that sub four. So a race win is great, but we want the times as well. I think it's Jack Heinem taking the lead regularly here at Miles Club. One hell of a gutsy runner. We'd we'll love to see him running. Bonsi to the outside. So Starrick haven't caught him. He's sitting pretty. Also another, uh, the Chilwell runner there in Hanrahan going nicely. Kyber just dropping back a little bit. Musket at the rear of the field now. So let's get a check on the time as they go through. Yeah, they're right on the four-minute pace. So let's see what the kickdown's like. And Padgham's the man who goes. Jaden Padgham, the Bendigo runner, wearing that Bendigo uniform with a lot of pride. He puts the foot down and challenges them and said, who can come with me? And there's a few who are trying it up there. So Padgham leading the way. Hard to spot second at the moment until they come back into the uh, relative daylight of the home straight. But Jaden Padgham, let's see if we can get Jaden through for the sub four minutes. He's got a 4.04 to his name. Into the home straight now. Time check 3.50 now. Can we get a few under? Padgham trying hard, going legless, still trying. 56, 57, could get there and probably has. 13 was next and that was Gardner from Tasmania. Great running. Guys, Ek Bonzi will have to wait on times as well. Heinem did a good run there. Nick Netic through next, and Musket will round them out at 4.15 thereabouts. So great running. Pageant, let's wait for a results up here because we're calling off a manual time system. So a few of the Tasmanians right up there, which is good to see. Hopefully the trip across has been worth it. So next up, the women's C, 1,500 metres. Amelia Morton from Box Hill will be in Station 1. Freya Brown, Mentone in 2. Serena Bryant, representing Glenn Huntley, is in Station 3. And from Sandringham, Sienna Rowe is in 4. From Athletics Essendon, it's Molly Bremner in 5. From Old, sorry, Old Tiberia, Santa Malcolm, I think she might be in the B race. Madigan Carroll from Athletics Essendon is in 7. 
From Mento and Celestine de Bar Camai is in nine. Alexandra Schultz Williamstown in ten. From Deacon Tess Rose is in eleven. From Wellington Grace Grasmer in twelve. From Box Hill Annabelle Smith thirteen. From Yarra Rangers Zoe Clark in fourteen. Tilly Williams Mentone in fifteen. And from Williamstown Nissa Miles is in sixteen. There are starters in the women's C. 1500 metres scheduled to start at 9 12. Then just hold the start, just hold the start, Brendan. Thanks, Brendan. So underway now, the women's C, 1,500 metres. This one ranges from around the 450 to the 456 mark, so tightly bunched. I wouldn't be surprised if we had a few sort of chasing that 440 mark, which is the Australian National Open Qualifying Standard. So as they come through, I wouldn't be surprised if Nissan Miles is up there early. She does like to lead in the pink socks. But as they settle, that's a Wellington uniform out front. It'll be great Grasma. Also up there is Madigan Carroll. She's looking good. Tess Rose deciding just to sit back early. She's trying to pick up Miles as she goes around as well. Yeah, she's sitting probably about fifth position there. Here's the miles in the traditional pink socks. So good opening lap there, Grace Grasma. Definitely a talent to watch this young lady. Real regular here at Miles Club from the Wellington Club. And we're seeing her do some really good stuff at both state and national level. So Madigan Carroll, don't know much about this one, but she's a 450 runner and she's just sticking to those heels like glue at the moment. A little bit of a gap, probably forming maybe 10 metres. And now we're seeing another one of the runners just starting to... And that might be Tess Rhodes, potentially. It looks like her style, just going around and trying to bridge that gap. So Grasma leads the way. Now it's starting to come together a little bit more. That was a good spot. It was Rhodes. It's come all the way through. So Tess Rhodes has bridged the gap. Then we've got Schultz, then Males, then Brown. Also up there, Sienna Rowe. Little gap back to Amelia Morton. The Glenn Huntley runner there, Bryant. Just bringing up the rear, but there's still not a lot of gap between this one. As I said, they're all in that 450s range. They're going through the 800 in 231 thereabouts. So Grasma, gee, it's bunched up a bit now. So good move there. That was Tess Rhodes who led them through. And there's the two Williamstown girls, which is Schultz and also Males, who just responded beautifully. So a nice bunch of five out front. Grasma still leading. Conditions absolutely superb down here, trackside. Not a breath of wind, good temperature, no rain. And these girls are just showing us what they can do. I'd love to see a few of these dip around that 440 mark. Maybe need a change of lead to keep that momentum. Grace is doing a lot of the work out front. Let's share it around a little bit and chase those times. 
as we're saying, it's great to have a win, but it's also what we want to see are the times here at Milers Club. This is what's going to qualify them for championships. Oh, we've had a tumble. One down, two down, unfortunately. Madigan Carroll going nicely. They're hitting the lap here. Schultz to the outside. Rose is on the inside. Males just trying to hold on. They're all back up again. I think it might have been DeBar Tamai might have gone down. Took another one with her. Uh, looks like one's still down, unfortunately. But out front, Grasmus still leads. Carroll still second. Rhodes still third. Schultz, I think, starting to move through. Males also sticking in nicely into that group. And now the question's being asked. So the moves are coming. Will Grasmus lose the lead? Rhodes has taken it. So Tess Rhodes from Deacon. She's in the lead now, 200 metres out. Can anyone challenge? Grace Grasmus responds. Beautiful response there from the young girl from Wellington. Wasn't going to give away that lead. She's letting Tess lead it through at the moment, but Grace Grasmus is still there. It's starting to stretch out behind. So Rhodes, Grasmer. I think that might be Males in next position. No, tell by the socks. No, that's Schultz in next position. And into the home straight here, 432. They're not going to miss the 440 by much. Tess Rhodes. Really chasing it. I told you they're getting the two 440s and they're going to be well and truly in the lows here. So Rhodes will take a great run, Grasma. 444s. Schultz, Miles, big run from her. Madigan Carroll, big, big performance. Sub 450. Debug, Tamai and Brown coming through next. On the inside there is Clark. Then we have Smith. The young runner there, Bremner. We saw her run so bravely last time. Williams, also Bryant. Also through row, and we did lose one, unfortunately. So big runs there. Nice win. Test Road's taking the win, but Grace Grasmer didn't lose any friends here tonight. That was brave front running. Love what I saw from Miles and also Schultz. And Madigan Carroll will remember that name. That was a big, big run from her. So then up, the men's D, 1,500 metres. Ben Beischer from Old Scotch in one. Uh, ben Stevens from Eureka in two. Nicholas Martin, Knox in three. Lachlan Morasco, Doncaster four. From South Australia, we welcome Zach Connell in five. Keith Scott, Ballarat Harriers in six. From Knox, Harvey Anderson in seven. Logan Tickle from South Bendigo in eight. Bailey Giles from South Australia in nine. Bart Leeton, Old Scotch in ten. Nathan Timmons from... Uh, Box Hill in 11, Patrick Hagen is in 12, Caleb Laker, Coburg in 13, I think that's Glenn Huntley now, Sebastian Brasington, Old Scotch in 14, we also welcome uh, from Tasmania, Lockie Fox, and Liam Coglin goes into station 16. So very fast start once again. Can't see a pace is singled out there. So these guys are racing each other. We're seeing a race here. There's a sprinkling of sub fours in it. And quite a few right on that borderline. 401, 402. So let's see how many we can get. I'm predicting probably seven or eight sub fours out of this race if they put the pace on. Looks like there possibly might be a pacer. The light is getting pretty bad out here. No, that's not a pacer, that's a Baisha. As we see, a little bit of a move coming through. No, it is a Baisha pacing, which is good, because these brothers in there. Patrick Hagen, he's decided he wants a little bit of the action right near. Looks like it's Ed Baisha pacing. I know his brother, Ben, is out there. So Ed is setting the pace and setting it beautifully here in this D race. 63 through the first lap, they're on sub four pace. So Baisha leading, Hagen up there. Everyone's basically in this race at the moment. Looks like uh, Ben Baisha sitting 
at the back of the pack at the moment, but not a bad place to be because the pace is on at 63. They're setting a sub four minute pace. And everyone's on board. It's a whole train going at the moment. And this is beautiful to watch. This is what Milers Club's all about. Just watching these pacemakers do the work out front. Just get the guys sit in, work it with me, and then follow. So it looks like two of the Tasmanians are up there at the moment. Now we're seeing Leeton just getting into a bit of trouble. Lakers on the inside there. Ben Bice just sucked sitting in nicely mid-pack. Stevens towards the end there, also Nicholas Martin, but they are flying along in this uh, D race at the moment. So 207, 208, they're still on the sub four minute pace. Now it's down to the racing, the two Tasmanians out front. So that's uh, Lockie Fox. He's up there. I think it might be also uh, Bailey Giles also in the mix too. So the pace still on. So let's see who wants it the most out there. And they are starting to make the charge here. That's an early charge. They're through it. 2.41 at the 1K. So the pace going down with the pacemakers out. And let's spot who's got it. Someone's really going for this one. And that is Bailey Giles from South Australia, really pumping it. Gee, they're all going at it now. Not many have dropped. They're still really pushing through. So the challenge on here, but Bailey Giles from South Australia, he's got a 401 to his name. I think he's going to get well and truly under that, but now we've got a challenge coming. I can't spot who it is. There's just too much going on down the back straight there. But Bailey Giles about to be challenged, I believe. And then they're starting to drop from the clouds all over the place. This is going to be a very interesting run. 3.29 now, so these guys need a 30-second last 200. So change of lead now. We'll try and spot who it is as they come into the home straight. Let's look at the clock. It is 3.42 right now. So they're charging through. Let's get some sub fours here. So leader coming through. Let's spot who it is. It's been a change. And it will be one of our South Australians. And it's going to be Zach Connell take it. So lots. Oh, right on the four-minute mark. So some great running there. So it was between the three, probably 58 through to 405, the entire field through there in the men's D 1500 metres. Good win there. So Zach Connell, I believe first time under four minutes. Making the trip across from South Australia very worthwhile. Next up, women's B, 1500 metres. Emily Mifford from Athletics Essendon in one. Rachel White from Doncaster in two. Cushy Diol, Box Hill is in three. From Collingwood, Josephine Borpwick is in Station 5. Lucy Cleveland, Western A's is in 6. Imogen Baker, Mornington in 7. Sophie Connolly from Tasmania, number one of the Tasmanians lining up. She's in 8. Shania Murray, Diamond Valley in 9. Lara Sakana, Essendon is in 10. We also welcome from Tasmania, Isabel Hoggett is in 11. Freya Des is in 12. Bella Ferry from Box Hill in 13. Mia Roo, Collingwood in 14. Olivia Twining, Arrow Raids is 15. Emma De Jong from Maccabi in 16. And Annabelle Coleman, Old Severians, is in 17.
So underway, the men's, sorry, women's B, 1500 metres. So our seed times here range from about 4.37 through to 4.45. So once again, fairly tight. No paces once again, I believe. So this is a race. So top seeds, we're looking Cleveland, Diol, yeah, around that uh, sub 440 mark. Also Connolly from Tasmania, she's a 437. And Annabelle Coleman will be chasing a sub 450 to try and qualify for the World Para Games in Paris later this year. So she's been bumped to the B race to try and get a good field to get her through. So, big charge early here from Balafari. Also going up there is the Tasmanian Sophie Connolly. So, Murray and also Twining to sitting at the back of the field, two of our more experienced 1500 metre runners. And we see Annabelle Coleman just sitting third last there at the moment and that's a good position for her to be in. So Balafari really charged out. They're on 4.30 pace, so they are quick. So sub 4.30 at the moment. Fari leading out. Also Connolly, the Tasmanian. So a long line now stretching out. And that means the pace is on. When you've got Shania Murray, our silver medalist at the Victorian 15k road champ, sitting at the back of the field, this is a quality 1500 metres. So out front, Balafari. She's coming in for 4.45, one of the, the lower seeds, but we know that she's been racing and racing well. And it's good to see her taking that pace up front. But now Connolly starting to move forward. Diol also should be up there at the moment. She's just to the outside. So also Mia Roo, Lucy Cleveland, De Jong also there. White also. I think another one there, Freya Des. Good to see Freya back racing again. So Coleman, remember, we're going to try to get a sub 450, hopefully around the 445 mark for Annabelle to get a qualified, the B qualifier for that World Para Games in Paris. So no real change out front. You can see the long socks of Lucy, uh, Lucy Cleveland sitting there in third position. So the bunch is going along quite nicely. So Connolly leads, the Tasmanian, 4.37 her time. Let's see how many of the girls we can get around that 4.30 mark. They certainly set off at that pace. Probably drifting a little bit at the moment, but a good bunch out front. They're going to work together and really push each other and race this through. So Diol looking dangerous to the outside there. Connolly still leading. Fari on the rails. Cleveland just drifting back a little bit. Kane is also up there, and now we're seeing White and Rue starting to go for it. So twining through next, then Tanner. Also, that is Borthwick. So Annabelle Coleman going through now. She's got Emily Mifsud just in front of her. So Rachel White. She's made the big move here. 4.39.20 is her best time coming through. Now Diol starts to make the move, and I think Rue's going with her. So we saw Mia Rue go brave last meet. This time she sat back in the crowd, and she's starting to make her move. So the difference to White just started to come in and in. And I think Mia Rue, the Collingwood Harrier, she's the one who's starting to make the big moves here. So now it looks like Diol's taken the lead. So Cushy Diol, 4.37 so seed time coming through. So Cushy Diol, big run from her. So time check now, 4.25. This is going to be good. It's going to be around that 4.30 mark. So it's a big breakthrough. It's Cleveland coming through now. But Diol will take it, 4.33. Then Cleveland, Rue, Sakana, White, De Jong, Connolly, Tanner, Borthwick and also Twining. Then Des. Then we've got Hoggett coming through. Murray next. Then Mifsud. And right on the 450 mark was Coleman.
Men C, 1500 metres, and we have 14 starters. Dylan Egedwade from KSB in one. Ned Verwey Frankston in two. Joshua Augustinius in, from Old Severians in three. Cooper Giles from South Australia, he's in four. From the ACT, we welcome Dion Kenzie back to Milers Club. He is in station six. Luca De Conza from St Kevin's in seven. Samuel Foster from Melbourne Uni in eight. Matthew Patton from Knox is in station nine. Also from Knox, Geno Assis in 11, Bevan Doe's from Frankston in 12, Kai Davies, Mornington 13, Ben Kelly from Glen Huntley in 14, William Lovett is in 15, David Gregg is in 16. That's the field in the men's C, 1500 metres. So off to a clean start here, the men's C1500. We're ranging here between about 3.57 and four minutes across the field. So once again, nice and tight. So conditions, starting to just get a little bit cool out here, but still great conditions, very little wind. Don't forget to visit in on the Box Hill Canteen. Also, have a check in on, see what On's got as we see Samuel Foster leading the way. Cam Clohesse from South Australia also up there, didn't call him. He was originally scratched out of this one, but Cam running here. He's a 356 runner, so one of our top seeds in this event. So, moving along nicely, Foster, he's a 357 man. Kai Davies from Mornington Peninsula, also a factor early here in this race. Dylan Egerwade just to the front of him. So Kai in that distinctive orange uniform, easy to spot. But Samuel Foster setting a nice pace here. Clam Clohesse deciding he just wants to be part of it. So Geno Assi just getting to the outside now in a good position. So we saw Geno take a good win over 1,500 at the last milers. David Gregg sitting midfield. Ben Kelly just off the back of him. Augustinus right in the middle there. And Cooper Giles, the South Australian, sitting pretty in there as well. So sitting through now, hitting the 800 metre mark, 206. So they're on the sub four here, as they should be. This entire field should be thereabouts. So Assie's sitting there in about sixth position at the moment. Little gap now to Davies. As we see, one of the runners is out. I'm not sure if that was a pacer or not. But it's a group four out front now. So it's still Foster leading. Foster, Clohesse. Then Egedawade, Assie. Gap then to Davies. So in that order. So Foster doing all the leading here as they come down to get the bell. So sitting through about the 53 mark through the bell. Patton going. Greg's got to move with him. You've also got Bevan Doe sitting nicely at the moment. 
Luca de Cons is sitting at the back, but he probably can take some scalps as they head into this last lap. But Foster's starting to move away, and now it's Assi who makes the move. So Geno Assi knows how to win these races. So Assi now starting to challenge Foster, who's led the whole way. Ega Duarte trying to move forward. Chloe Hesse's not got much left in him, and it is Assi who's taken the lead, 200 out. So Geno Assi, an exciting prospect here. We saw him just break the four minutes last time. Foster not done with yet, though. So Assey's got a race on his hands as he takes the lead into that last 100 metres. It's Assey, Foster, gap back then to Egadawade. So let's have a look at our leaders here. It is Geno Assey. We're seeing the time check now. It's 3.49, 3.50. Big race, Geno Assey. He'll take it. Another good performance. 54 unofficial. Foster, great racing. Egadawade through. Whole pile of them just coming in under that four minutes. So Greg just falling to the back of the field. And then Dion Kenzie, he's through. The great run, Geno Assi. Foster set that one up. Chloe Hesse brave early. But Geno Assi, Dylan Egerwade, also big performance. And the man from Knox takes another win. So let's move forward. Event number 38 of 38, our final event of the evening. It is the men's B 1500 metres. In station one from Box Hill, we've got Peter Green. Christopher Dale from St Stephen's is in two. Tim Logan from Diamond Valley in three. Callan Goldsmith, Mornington in four. Tom McFarlane from Glen Huntley in station five. Station six also from Glen Huntley, Jack Fora. Station eight from Western Athletics, backing up from the 800, it's Nathan Pearce. Jacob Reed is in nine. Stephen Langdon from Melbourne Uni in ten. Dale Carroll from Collingwood Harriers is in eleven. From Yarra Rangers, Harry Normans in thirteen. From Knox, Reese Hatfield is in fourteen. We welcome from Tasmania, Alexander Qua in fifteen. Also, we welcome from South Australia, Jonathan Harris in sixteen. Nicholas Baggett from Box Hill in seventeen, and Jack Bowen from St Kevin's in eighteen. And we see something spectacular like we did last time when Remy Willis took this race in a very sparkling time. And looking at the pace early, I think they are going for it. Wouldn't be surprised if they're clocking through around that 60 seconds. Just settling now a little bit as they come round the bend the first time. But a quality field here for a B race once again. And I wouldn't be surprised if we get a few dipping under that 350 mark if they race each other honestly. And that's what we need. So a few interstaters, and we do welcome our interstaters here. They perform brilliantly. And there's Jonathan Harris from South Australia leading the way. Norman in next position. Peter Green taking up the rear of the field at the moment with Hadfield. Pierce just in front of those. Nathan has run the 800. Let's see how this goes. So we're sitting on around that 60-second mark through the opening 400 as expected. Not surprised by that whatsoever. And it is Jonathan Harris. He's a 3.55 runner. Let's see if we can get him close to that 3.50 mark, if not under. So setting it up beautifully out the front is Harris. South Australians and Tasmanians really well represented here tonight, and we do appreciate them supporting Milers Club here in Victoria. The premium milers meet in the country. So Harris leads. Norman's up there. Dale also going well. 
Jacob Reed in good position. To the inside of him, that is... Uh, I think there's Carroll sitting in there as well. So Dale Carroll, great over the 10K. Let's see who performs stepping down now to the 15 to get that speed up. So pace dropped a little bit on that lap. So they're through 800. We might need to see a change of lead to try and zip things along a bit. We'd love to see some sub 350s in the B race. Looks like Hadfield's just dropping off the back a little bit. Just finding that pace a little bit too sharp up front. Pierce also off the back. Not surprising. He has got the 800 in his legs plus 28k from two bays. So still no change. So Dale up there. Carroll looking quite dangerous. Tim Logan, haven't called him. Alexander Qua also looking good. So let's see how far under that uh, or around that 350 mark we can go. We're just seeing no real change out front. So Dale's sitting nicely in that second position. Wouldn't be surprised if Carol makes a bit of a move here as well. Got a little bit of a zip in him so now we see the change so it is Christopher Dale he's the first to go 352 his seat time thereabouts so now we're seeing he just doesn't want to give it away and as Harris is back into it again so this is going to be a really good finish here time check 337 now we're going to get close to that 350 can we get them under it's Harris it's Dale Harris is back in the front Norman storming home as well but Harris is going to take this great front running we're going to be right on that 350 just under Dale Qua, good run then Carroll Goldsmith through and also Langdon Jack for a good run from him just coming across now Jacob Reed around four minutes and let's get behind Hadfield. We've seen him performing brilliantly at Milers Club. And just stepping into this 15. Not quite right tonight. So that concludes our meet here tonight. Another big one. 38 races. Around 500 entries. So a big thank you to our volunteer helpers, our Victorian officials, our timing crew up there who are really under the pump all night. A uh, big thank you also to the Victorian middle distance community and our interstaters. The athletes, the coaches and the families and supporters who've come along to Box Hill tonight. And a big, big... And that's where we'll leave the Victoria Milers Club champion... Oh, meet three for the 2022-2023 competition. I want to thank David Armstrong for being on camera down at the track. Tim Crosby for calling those. Join Athletics Exclusive again next Thursday, the 2nd of February, for the Box Hill Burn... Until then, have a good night.